All right, and we should now be live. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another episode of Chicken Invaders Universe Arise to the Top series. So welcome, welcome, everybody. Hope you're all having an awesome weekend. We are back on Chicken Invaders Universe this morning. We've got plenty of cool new stuff to do. Uh, most specifically, we're going to be conquering the star system of Kronos by doing all 29 missions in it. And once we're done with that, we've got... We already did this one. This was like five missions. So after this, we've got this one over here, which has 16 missions. And then we will have completed every single star system in this little uh, cluster over here. Oh, no, wait. No, I take that back. There's another one. Another one with likely about five missions that we haven't done. So I take that back, guys. There are three. There are three star systems within this little... I don't even know what to call this cluster of star systems. Do you call it a... You don't call it a galaxy. I don't think so. It'd be too small. What do you call it? Can I just keep calling it a cluster? I don't really know. But you guys get the idea. We're going to carve out this whole little corner over here. And uh, we'll be totally done with it. And we can move south and start working on this little orange section. <laughs> Oh, man, but yeah, we got that. We've got some dailies and weeklies to do. Galactic Cup still hasn't reset yet. Um, I'm sure Wiz E's going to win again because Wiz E is always right on top of it. Hold up. Oh, in fact, wait a minute. Wiz E did win again. Look, Rainbow Boy VN versus Wiz E. 0.3% just barely eked out the win there. Amazing. Let's hear it for Wiz E, everyone. All right, anyway, welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome, Arnov. Welcome, Ed Argans, JRZ, Il Firely, Emerald Burb, uh, Pidgey, Eric Bra, KJ1, CIU, GB, Liam. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Hope you're all having a good one. Sup, have a good Saturday, everyone. Yeah, for real, Pidgey, you too. Before he forgets again, he still has to try out his new ship. Oh, I'm glad you said that, dude, because I would have totally forgotten about it. Okay, so. His downside to the new ship, all right, it's not legendary, and that's it. That's the whole downside. <laughs> okay, now for real. Um, oh boy. All right, hold up. I gotta think. I gotta think this through a little bit. We gotta think through exactly what all we need to do. All right, so we have first order of business. Let's unslot everything over here that we want to use. We're just gonna move all the various parts over to the other ship. What's these, what's the hard, oh, hard points, that's right. Okay, we can just, uh, we just enable those over here. All right, uh, oh, this one has n an additional satellite slot. So we can get a whole nother satellite if we wanted to. Boron railgun, accumulator, heat sink, reactor, and engine. Wait a minute, what's the difference between these two? Hall effect thruster is the obvious improvement. Though I think this one can actually be upgraded. Correct? Yes, yes it can. Okay, so we will upgrade the Hall effect thruster um, as well. Do I have enough keys for that? Probably. Flagship needs a reactor. Why does it keep saying that? Oh, because this one's the, okay. Let's make this one the new flagship. There, that was easy. Okay, so we'll do that. And one other thing. Yeah, I guess the market's fine. Let's take a look at Hall Effect Thruster. This one right here. Yeah, this is the one I need to upgrade. I would just go to like a store and upgrade it, but we're not like really near any local stores. So I might just upgrade it from the market menu. Uh, we'll see though. Won't worry about that right now. For now, let's actually get into some bloody missions. Loe Abacar says hi. What's good? Credo, welcome to the stream. He says, yo, cats, congrats for being part of the Top 100 Week Club. Hey, thanks, man. Hey, cats, can you locate me? Um, I could, I suppose. Hold up. Where are you at? You're in Yeez and Cheese, if I remember correctly. Phil Argans. Oh. Can't locate you from that menu, can I? Hold up. Where's your name at? Where's your bloody name at? Phil Argans. You are unable to locate contact. A gravitational anomaly is interfering. Well, I've never gotten that message before. Eh. 
Arnov says no legendary pain, right? Exactly. My boy used the unmount all button. Oh, I didn't know that was a thing. My bad. My bad. As a completionist, your mission should be to get every ship and every rarity variant of it. Um, no. <laughs> Creed Do says, dude, use the unmount all button. Wow, everybody knows about the unmount all button but me. Oh, goodness. Adrian says, uh, unmount all after being seen. Oh, we got a cool FX kit alt in the chat. Hey, Pidgey, get rid of him. Okay, thank you, Pidgey. Instinct 8, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Excalibur be Heavy Battle Cruiser, welcome to you as well. So, because I'm in a wormhole. Oh, that would explain it. Good thinking. All right, so anyway. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get in to our next mission, shall we? Enter orbit. Where do we want to go? Ah, let's go to this one first. I mean, I used it in the thumbnail. It seems only correct. Oh, crap. I forgot how much thrust I have. Look at my new ship. Check it out, guys. It's more like a tank. It's Kess the Tank Ship. Okay. Delta Ch Chonos. Or Kronos, excuse me. Kronos is going to be our next one. All right. Baron Inculcation is going to be... Ooh. There's like some lightning and crap going on around this planet. All right. So this will be 10 waves, 76 to 86 percent. Ooh, we got a couple of new swats, too. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait, do I have extra lives at all? I do. Oh, one. I have one extra life. I could just slot in, like, extra equipment, too. But for now, we'll just worry about lives. All right, so I'm, I remain confident this new ship is going to help us. Um, we'll see how that works out, though. Dennis on CIU says, how are y'all? What's good, Dennis? Welcome. KJ1 says, that was satisfying to look at him getting banned. Yeah, I can just imagine. Oh boy, this is a much slower ship. That might take some getting used to. I appreciate how speedy my old ship was. Uh, to be fair, this isn't... This isn't a whole lot worse than what my movement speed originally was before I started upgrading equipment. So I can get used to it again. Nice. All right, sweet. Be warned, bombers are slow. Be warned, bombers are slow. Uh, context? A little bit? Bombers are slow. What does that mean? In terms of the ship, anyway. All right, good stuff. Adrian GFX, welcome to you. Friday Funkin' Sussy. He says, Kess, use the Kess Chicken Boss mod. <laughs> the Kess Chicken Boss mod. Have you guys seen that? I linked it in the Discord. Yeah, we'll check that out sometime. Not today, though. All right, grab some keys. Anyway, I'm catching up, Cass. <laughs> Good job, man. Looks like a new boss is coming to CIU. I saw that. I saw the reports. Not exactly sure. Oh, crap. I tried, uh, tried crossing the lightning beams. Did not work out for me. Yeah, boy. Okay, well, we tried. Barbecue. Nice. Grab the little pink ray here. Thank you. One point two point one gigawatts. Yeah, it sounds about right. Somebody's seen Back to the Future, or maybe that's just how much it actually has. I don't know what measurements they have in Chicken Invaders Universe. This is clearly some high tech we're working with. I mean, look at this plasma rifle here and tell me this isn't high tech. You can't do it. You know that. I know that. Oh, crap. And I hit something again. What the hell did I even hit? What was there to even hit? All right, we got some food, though. Got some keys. Very nice. The feather fields, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone dead. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much everybody. We're down to power level six. And if that sounds like it sucks, um, spoiler, it does. It sucks a whole bunch. Nice. All right, nope, not falling for the lightning bit again. Not doing that. Oh, I'm back to bullets somehow. Huh. Just got a bullet present, not even re realize it. Welcome to the You Dead Club. The You Dead Club? Really, KJ1? Really? The You Dead Club? You made me cringe so hard my teeth fell out. Like, what's wrong with you? The You Dead Club. Welcome to the You Dead Club, everybody. You dead, I'm dead. Everyone's 
dead. That's depressing. You know what we call those where I come from, KJ1? Funerals. I guess not everybody's dead at a funeral, but oh! Oh, check this out! I have double absolver beam on the smaller ones now. That's new. Pretty sweet. I like the ship. I'm definitely vibing with it, that's for sure. Alright, nice. Crap, I, I, I tried the laser again. Once again! I tried the laser. Or I tried to, uh, to cross a beam, basically. And it did not work out. So the moral of the story is don't cross beams. You can learn from my bad example. Alright, GG everybody! Adrian bathroom dance time! Let's go! It's a little hard to do in a slow ship like this, but we can still do it. Alright. Good stuff. Uh, da, da, da. the lion family says hello there. What the stink? Welcome to stream, the lion family. He says, what is the channel name? Well, you can look down below and you will see it. Uh, at Cass, bombers also have bigger hitbox. That's why you're dying a lot. Uh, oh, okay, makes sense. Hey, Cass, if you use the VF Raven, you can see in the dark and thunder will not kill you. Oh, that's convenient. Cass, you forgot to equip hard points. I did forget to equip hard points. Good thinking, dude. Let's go back and do that real quick. Fleet, BX9, saddle. Oh, that's just an extra satellite. Hard points. There we go. All right, beautiful. All right, guys, so that's our first mission done. Let's go ahead and do a boss rush called Edible Showboat. So this one should be fun. Coupon's baby was hitting my Pidgey. I'm guessing it was another alt. All right, thank you, Pidgey. You also get quad lightning and BX ships. Awesome. So I'll look forward to using some quad lightning then once we get an upgrade lightning weapon. All right, BX9 has a bigger hitbox than the ship itself. Uh, okay, so that's why that's why we keep dying a little bit, a little bit more. May makes sense. I guess it'd be more helpful for picking up power ups too. But the downside is, of course. You're also gonna die a little bit more quickly. Yami, how is you, you, Yuki? How are Yuki? I'm terrible with names, I apologize. But welcome to the community, son. Thanks for subscribing. All right, so, let's go, ooh. Hold up, let's go this way. Got something in my eye. Oh no! Oh, that's a lot of feathers. Woo wee! Oh boy, oh, he was charging to me, okay. All right, nice, 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 nice. Good job, guys. Get some food, get some keys. All right, so, we, so I'm gonna have to get used to uh, the bigger hitbox and having to take greater, having to make some greater effort at avoiding getting shot, basically, now. Now that we have this. That's what you guys seem to be telling me. Oh, crap. Well, I, I say that, and then what happens? I get hit with another laser. Yeah, I just, I just can't be flying cuisiners my entire life. Are you beeping serious? I used to be able to fly through bullets, and it was amazing, and... Now it's just so hard to do that. All right, we got it. Nice. Yeah, but yeah, you just can't fly cuisiner ships your whole life. You gotta have more than that. Specifically a BX-9. Or so I've been told. Oh, it's the egg cannon cannon cannonade. Oh boy. Oh boy, we gotta fly through all the hash browns. All right, I can do that. I can do that. Nice. Yeah, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no, I hit another one. <laughs> oh no, I'm gonna have to rewarn all my fancy maneuvering skills. Stink. I'm back down to two, uh, a firepower of two. I mean, I get it's a rough boss, but come on. Nice. Nice, let's go. Beautiful. All right, we're back up to six now. Not too shabby. What's good, man? Hey, we're over here now, yeah. You see that, did you? Oh boy, there's lightning. All right, we're good. Got past the lightning. Man, 60%, we're having a rough time. Oh crap, I forgot to equip overdrive. Imagine forgetting to equip overdrive. 
when you could be forgetting to equip accumulator like a real man. Okay, no. Okay. Nice. Grab this, thank you. Emerald Burb says a kid with cool effects. I know, right? Uh okay. Alright, 15%. This guy this guy tends to tends to get cut down pretty easy pretty early on. I do like my uh my trail on this ship. That's a nice look to it. Something about it. Nice. Nice. Get some lightning. Maybe we can get enough power-ups and not die enough to actually make that quad lightning everyone's talking about. Yeah, boy, how's the Oh, no, this is the one that splits up. You can tell by the multiple rings. Uh, there you go. That's good, man. Hold up. We're just gonna go over here, shoot him from this side. Thank you. Woo! Yeah, it's a little rough. We're gonna have to be turned around every which way. Yep. Yeah. Kind of hard to remember the direction, too. Come on, guys. We're so bloody close here. There you go. Good job. Even dual lightning is awesome when it works out. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, got rid of the grenades. That was the important part. I'm gonna focus on crab chicken. You guys can deal with army bro if you want to. Yeah boy, over here. Oh, I forgot to forgot to uh, use up my accumulator there. Forgot to activate it when I really needed it. All right, now I'm focused on army, bro. Nice. Oh, no! Crap, I went to grab the food, totally forgetting it spawned those new little laser ships. Dang, freaking nabbit. There goes my power level. Oh, well, what can you do? I got myself in a nasty situation there with that hanging out with that triangle. Are you freaking kidding me? Stupid garbage. All right, get the little ship here. Come on, come on, I got four power level. How the hell am I supposed to get a little ship? I'm like a joke to the little ship. I'm like a joke to the little killer, killer ninja chickens. See what I mean? Ooh, never mind. We're back up to five. I've been redeemed. Power level of five means everything. Not really. Get the way to ship again. There we go. Oh, come on. Like shot out right at me. Yeah, the new ship's gonna take some getting used to. That's for sure. All right, I'm gonna go over here. Hey, what's good? What's good? Yeah, I'm over this way now. Good yeah, boy. Grab that. Well, crap. Oh well. Wait, there's another one. One last one. Nice. Good job, guys. GG. That was a rough, uh, rough little boss battle. Oh no, wait, we got one left. Oh, I thought that was the end. I'm guessing it's not. Yeah, crap. Hold up. Let's go this way. Nope. Hi, Cass. It's me, Tom. Oh, nice, man. Welcome to the. <laughs> to the boss battle. Oh, crap. Let's go over here. All right, the bird flu is doing some work anyway. Nice. Good job, guys. All right, we did it. All right. Anyway. In fact, when the egg cannonade is changing its phase, when bullets reach the older phase, it won't get damaged. Right, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Ryan Family says, I play Chicken Invaders, uh, Friday Night Funkin' and Geometry Dash. Cool, man. I play Chicken Invaders, Grand Theft Auto, and Doom. So, that's my trifecta of games. Also, if you use Legendary BX9, you have a lot smaller hitbox. Hmm, okay. So, we'll be on the lookout for a Legendary version at some point, then. I hope they add badges and hearts to YouTube stream chat so we can give Adrian some nice reply badge and make him happy. <laughs> Oh, wow. All right. Instinct 8 says, which is more challenging, Chicken Multi or Expo? I have no idea. All right. 
Anyway. Hey, Cass, who is Intical Staric? Intical Staric. Oh, you mean Intical Mint? That's uh, another person in the Chicken Invaders community. All right, anyway. Cass' hitbox is a joke right now. It really is. It really is. It's like stupid levels of joke. Is that even a thing? No. Okay, so we did Edible Showboat. So the next mission is going to be a Real Topaz. So here we go. That was awful, but GG. It really was. It was it was a crap show of a of a boss rush. Oh man. Let's go. Uh available units are okay, so we need to buy some more lives. I ran out of quite a few there. So that is that doesn't really surprise me. Uh, Alright, real towpath is gonna be our next one. Dun, 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 dun. Can you make the live stream at 8 p.m. instead of 2 p.m.? No, no. I only schedule the live streams on my own schedule, not any of the viewers, sorry. So please don't ask me that anymore, because I've had several people ask me that, and no, I'm not doing that. So, sorry. Okay, Cass, sell your food. I do need to sell my food. You were correct. I need to go find a another space burger. Crap. Okay, we got it. I was worried the lightning was going to screw me up there, but no, we're good. Alright, so yeah, we do need to go sell our food. Right now, my focus has been more on, uh... Securing star systems than... Converting food to keys. Imagine what a payday we're going to make, though. I've got like 100,000 plus food at the moment. Which is funny, because there's like a... There's like a, a metal slash achievement for getting 100,000 keys, but not food. It's 10,000 for food, which means I'll probably get like 10 different, are you beeping kidding me? Rip, rip Kess. He got too close to the edge where the set, where the portals are. Oh man, Kess streams at 8 a.m. here? Yeah, it's 8 a.m. here as well. Grab this, nice. All right, good deal. Yo, Cass, wait, should I get a VF Raven or a BX? After purchase, I'll keep it permanently. You know what, dude? I haven't used a VF Raven, so I, I couldn't really give you any good advice on that. I've only I've only really ever used, let's see, I've used the starter ship. I've used the cuisine or I've used the BX. The Raven, I couldn't tell you. People have told me some of the perks of the Raven. And they sound good in theory, but I don't know. You should ask somebody a little more experienced with various uh various ships. At some point. I would like to uh, own all the various different ships myself and try them all out. And when I do, I'll make a little uh, review slash purchasing guide video on it. So. I'm not going to get every single rarity variation of the ships. I'm not going to KJ one it. That's just, that's just a little bit far. <laughs> oh, man. Nice, just just ca good old fashioned camping. Right here on the sides of the street. Amazing. It's absolutely glorious. Nice. Alright, good job, guys. Oh, Mary go round. Of course. Naturally. Oh, this is the one where they're all coming from that. Yeah, this one. This one's fun. Oh, yeah, that worked that worked worked out well. Except for the part where our buddy blew up and lost his satellites. That part wasn't so great. Alright, hey, for the most part, though, we avoided dying that time, all except for once, I think. Alright. Good job, guys. That's like the fastest crab death I've ever seen. Pretty much. Oh, wow. That was great. I prefer BX, says Liam. Yeah, so far, it's pretty decent. Anyway. Adrian says, don't worry, just pick the family. 
Um, okay, I'm gonna go with the BX then if you're gonna force me to choose. <laughs> Hazard Terror, welcome to the stream. Uh, weak about firepower level. BX is strong, but high fire with high firepower, but slow. Yes, yes it is, and a big hitbox too. Mission complete, mm-hmm. If eight firepower doesn't bother you, that's fine. Eh, it only bothers me a little bit. So it's, it's better than five and six, but. So an ultimately fat, but packs a punch. Yeah, I'm hoping in the long run, this will make having this uh, BX9 will make me a better player, but we'll see. So no promises yet. All right, so next one is gonna be any Broadtail. What a name, it's 100% difficulty, 32 waves, 89 to 100%, it, it ramps itself up. So this is a long one and a high level one. So this will probably be a rough mission. Vincent LaFranchi says, hey, what's good, Vincent? All right, level zero moron is the best. <laughs> Don't said any broad tail as a squadron, it's annoyingly long. Well, that's... That's true, KJ1. It is annoyingly long. But if we don't sign it, but here's the thing, the annoyingly long squadron missions are the one that earn you the most points. And if the whole goal of the squadron is to rise to max rank, then wouldn't that be kind of ideal? Think it through. Yes, I mean, we could skip the annoyingly long missions, but think of all the points we'd be missing out on. That'd be a shame. All right. Nice. Bundle of chips. Actually, so far, this doesn't seem too shabby. Of course, we have like four people here, so there's that, but still. the sacred level 8 moron railgun in my hack accounts. <laughs> wow. And it's sacred, huh? Gotta really emphasize the sacredness of that. That's amazing. Uh, level 8 moron railgun. See, I like the boron railgun. It's, it's great. The moron railgun, though? Makes you die inside just a little bit. I sold mine pretty much as soon as I got a new weapon. I'm like, nope, getting rid of this garbage. Never gonna use it again. And you know what? I regret nothing. Zero regrets. Nice, Get rid of the gas cloud. Bullet rain. Oh, I actually picked a really good, uh, she picked a really good weapon. Crap! Dang, Nabbit, that wasn't even anywhere near me! Stupid, overly large hitbox. Anyway. Uh, yeah. I picked a good weapon for that. That was that was a time when the, uh... Shoot, whatever it's called. The name of the weapon I can never remember. It's a time when that really comes in handy. Whip. Aha, missed me! Nice try, dummy. Uh, uh, uh. All right, we avoid all that. Good deal. Whoop, whoop. Getting our power level up. Very nice. You know what? Slow and powerful doesn't really bother me, though. I mean, think about it. When I played TF2 a lot, heavy was my main class. I was nothing but slow and powerful. Slow and powerful works. GG. Beautiful. Good job. All right, what, what, well, it's kind of hard to do the Adrian bathroom dance side to side like this, but no, nah, it works. All right, we're about a quarter of the way through. For a mission. Let's continue. Sweet. 
Squadron assignment reward. Nice. Cage One is flying edible Shoba. Oh, I see. He's already on top of it this morning. Good deal, man. Got these ships. Nice. Grab some coins. Thank you. Binary scream. Binary scream. What the hell? What kind of a what kind of a name is that? What kind of a bloody name is that? Heavy main struggles with the BS. <laughs> little bit when it's new to you. Yeah, a little bit. It does sound like a quick baby video title, doesn't it? Heavy main struggles with the BX9. Gone wrong. Who knows? Who the freak knows? Oh man. Shingo Gaming says hello. What's good, man? Oh, Fire Lee says, I'm a hacker, dude. I mean, in the loosest sense of the word, sure. Sure you are. Hey, you found a lot of bugs in CIU, my man. So you, should, you deserve some total props for that. All right. Let's continue on our way. Visitors from another dimension. Ooh. Yeah, they got armor too. They got armor in that dimension. And balloons. Too many of them. And their chickens are too fat. It's a crazy dimension where these fellas come from. Yeah, crap. Couldn't move in time. Actually, no, it's like I saw it coming. I just wasn't moved enough to the right. Kinda, kinda miss, miss eyed that one. All right, not too shabby though. We're definitely got some pretty decent power level here. I mean, like, look at how many forks I'm actually shooting out now that we've built our power level up. Also, I'm getting a little bit more used to the hitbox, I think, maybe. Or maybe I just got lucky. Nice. Oh boy. Nice. There we go. Good job. How many times did I appear by now? Once? Oh, you mean on stream? Yeah, I think he only came in here just like once or twice. Actually, I only remember one time, so it's probably only just the once. That's cool to see him tune in, though. So, but hey, just remember, he could be always watching. He could be always watching. So he might just pop up from the shadows and be like, da 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 da. Doesn't really sound like an IA thing to do, but it's possible. Oh, man. I imagine he's got uh, other important things to work on. You know what I mean? Oh, crap. Nice. Wow. We're annihilating this thing. Look at that. We're already at 75%. Oh, crap. Nice. Dodge that at the last second. Whoop, whoop. I'm up here. Come get me. Yeah, you can't even move, you stupid hash browns. I dare you to try. I dare you to try. Look at all these forks I'm shooting. Son. Look at all the forks. Boom. You're dead. I win. All right, TT, everybody. I is the most social dev that I've ever seen. Really? I guess that makes sense, being an indie developer, being mostly a one-man studio. I can't say he's the most social dev I've ever personally seen. Um, but I'll say this, definitely the most social for the size, you know what I mean? Given how large the following of Chicken Invaders is, and how social he is with the community in comparison, yeah, definitely, definitely unusual. I was pretty busy, I doubt he, doubt he has the time to watch a stream. Yeah, I think, I was thinking the same thing. Because like, making a game is a ton of, it's a ton of effort. There's a lot that goes into it. Hell, making YouTube content, there's a lot that goes into it. Well, sometimes, it actually depends on the creator. 
Actually, I'd say it's that way with... Well, no, you could say that for anything, though. You could say that for games, too. That there's a, there's a lot that goes into it, but it depends on the creator. Some people just don't put much effort into their stuff. I mean, look at all, like, the terrible, like, uh, mobile clone games. Obviously, not much effort was put into those. And obviously, that's a cheap example, but you know exactly what kind of thing I'm talking about when I say that. Obviously, IA is not one of those sorts of devs. He puts quality in the stuff he does. Similarly, you don't see me uh, re-uploading top 10 most popular streamers' funny moments clips over and over again. So, yeah. You know, low effort stuff. Wow, look at all the power-ups in the presents. I could switch my present out every second. If I was up in line, I'm not really. But I'm good. Nice job, guys. Are right, you getting some more food, too? Oh, crap. I saw one of the big ones blow up. I was like, I don't know how to go, where to go to avoid this. And so I didn't. And there I am dead again, too. Nice. All right, we avoid it that time. That's good. Nice. We missed the last balloon guy, but it's okay. Plot twist. One of the supposed QFX kid all the fans was actually an IA account. Eh. That'd be funny. It'd be stupid as hell, but it'd be hilarious. Hey, KJ1, it's like I always say, man. Play stupid games, win stupid prices. <laughs> oh, man. All right, anyway. Also, another fact. In order to get more extra slots, I used all 20k keys I gave me. I used some more keys and gave me 100,000. Very nice, dude. Very nice. Nice. Right, this one, this one's taking a little bit longer to destroy this time around. But then again, did you expect anything else? Nice, let's go. Only you could destroy the lightning with the absolver beam. But you can't. Can I hack the speed of my spaceship? Can you? You tell me. Alright, chickens and chicks. 25 and 32. You got it, man. Quality Chicken Invaders fifth ninth boss is just boss two and three. Chicken Invaders five ninth boss is just boss two and three. What are you talking about? Chicken Invaders five, five nine. Five. How do you just what? I can't remember. I can't even remember the order of the bosses in Chicken Invaders five. To be honest with you. I mean, I can give you an idea of what they were. Obviously, there was the party chicken, there was the army chicken, you know, there's the ice boss. I can give you a loose idea, but I couldn't tell you the order they're all in. Uh, which is funny, because I replayed that campaign like at least 20 plus times. All right, stream lag. I think that's on your end, buddy. Everything's good over here. No lag on my end, which is good be aggravating if there was a bad time for everybody. Nice. Can't wait for the lightning to go off. Also, the Enterprise taking up three out of 12 boss waves on its own. Really? Dang. Let's go over here. Nice. Let's see, Chain Mirage 5 boss 10 is a reskin. 
plus one new laser attack. We got four bosses. There's already three out of twelve bosses. So, is what you're... I'm sorry, I'm just having some trouble understanding. Is your... Mostly because I'm just reading chat at opportune moments when I'm not dying. But, I'm assuming your point, your takeaway from that... Um... It's just like a reuse of bosses, right? Nice. We got him. That is a lot of clauses. Get rid of the clauses. There's too many of them. Oh, no. They got away. I'm sorry. I would have helped you get rid of the clauses. I was over here destroying spaceships. Alright, barriers to success. We're at like 31 out of 32. We're cleaning up this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Like, check it out. Nice. Boring railgun stuff. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm way too slow. Thunderclock! The greatest boss. The original boss. The most original boss? Question mark? Maybe. We'll see. Oh crap, I didn't get away in time. Stinking laser. Oh well, I got plenty of health. Whoop. Oh crap, it's like 10 times harder to fly through the music parts now. It used to be like so easy for me to navigate between them, it's just not anymore. Big ol' rip. Mm. Hey guys, do you remember the Chicken Invaders 2 Space Burger theme? Oh, I do actually. Believe it or not, I do remember that. One time I had chicken knots and berserkers for chickens and chicks. Just flat out chaos. That sounds like flat out chaos. All right. So speed is a decimal, I guess. Is it really? By the way, Cass, there's, they're called alchemist chickens now. Oh, okay. Claws was only a placeholder. All right. So alchemist chickens. Interesting. Chicken invaders five waves are also too slow, are they? So, Shingo Daming says, are you die four? Well, that's not a question, but, um, I mean, I guess it is. Did I die four times? I actually wasn't paying attention. <laughs> we do need more lives. So, I burned through some, so, yeah, I probably did die four times. That's probably halfway accurate. Okay, uh, contacts. Did I get some new contacts requests? I did. We got one from Builderman. Who else? I'll make sure I accept everybody's friend request. Dennis. Uh, Galactic Legendary. Goodvin BG Hero CIU. Why the hell not? Uh, anybody else? One more. You Yasef Man Egypt. How many? How many Yasefs are there? Oh wait, no. Yasef Yusef. I see. There's one as a U. This one doesn't. I was like, does he have like an alt or something? No. Totally different guy. I'm assuming. All right, so we got four out of five done. Nine notifications, let's see where we're at here. Phil Argans completed something successfully. There's KJ1, Arnov, Pidgey. Wow, you guys are on it. Good job, everybody. All right, Shingo says, oh, that was your name, Sin Shingo? Awesome, man. Martian King, welcome to the stream, dude. Hey, dude, how you doing? I am doing well, my friend. We're about to do mission five here on this planet. So this one will be super short because it's eight waves and uh, 52 to 60% difficulty. Now, Cass, read the whole message history for my chaos. Uh, no. Playing Chicken Invaders 5 after CIU makes 5 seem easy as hell. I bet it does. You don't have to worry about the, uh, the whole RNG element quite so much. Pidgey says, what do you think of the jump scare video Emerald posted? Oh, in the forum? Loved it. It was great. Who gets the reference in that video? I assumed it was like a callback to FNAF. Was it something different? Was there like there more depth to it than I was giving it credit for? Well, you guys are really on the squadron assignments. Dang, I gotta assign more missions. Well, we're going through like two or three star systems this morning. If we don't get enough missions now, when will we ever? Excalibur says, Kess, please be sure to announce what kind of mission you're about to play. Oh, sure, I'm doing chicken invasion, so. Unless otherwise noted, we're doing chicken invasion. <laughs> oh man, 
try to catch every stream. Thank goodness, I think we're on the same time zone. Oh good, man, you an EST, lucky boy? So that really sadly screws over a lot of people. Them being in like different time zones than me, like a different part of the world. And they'll, uh, I'll be like streaming, it'll be like two in the afternoon here, it'll be like four in the morning where they're at. And Oregon says, Cass, I'll give you assignments tomorrow or after that because I'm busy. Oh, that's fine, man. Do them when you get the time, just as long as they get done. <laughs> CIU Ryan says, you thinking of creating another squadron for other viewers? Um, no, I'm not. Not anywhere close to thinking about it. Shingo says, can you join me, please? Nope, doing these missions. You're welcome to join ours, but uh, I'm doing these right here. Arnoff says, gotta leave. All right, Arnoff, was good to have you here, buddy. I'll see you at the top. Central Standard Time, close enough. Believe it or not, I am actually like just like a 30 minute drive from the time zone border between Eastern Standard Time and Central Standard Time. So, in fact, my brother, he lives in a town uh, kind of close to where I'm at. Like, like I said, about maybe an hour's drive away. And he's in Central Time Zone. So, when we like talk on the phone or whatever, it's something you gotta remember. Oh, I got the Absolver Beam. That's weird, I didn't even notice. Yeah, something to keep in mind, he, he's like an hour behind me. Although it rarely ever affects much of anything. Can I stream 24 seven to fix the time zone thing? There you go. Can't, can't see nothing wrong with that at all. That's a soundproof strategy, that one is. All right, nice. Did I say soundproof like an idiot? I meant to say failproof. If that wasn't obvious. All right, good stuff, guys. Oh, crap. Nice. I like going for the balloon ones with the absorber beam, so it's like an instant kill. Oh, no, the lightning! The lightning! Oh, no, wait, it didn't get me. It got my friend. Oh, I thought that was me. I guess it's not. Oh, I'm also on Photon instead of Absolver now. Nice. All right, good stuff, guys. The Eyeless Chicken in that video is meant to look... Uh, hold up a second. Meant to look like a face, I got that far. It did look kind of familiar. But I couldn't, I couldn't quite tell you exactly what it was. And to look like the face from what's wrong with this picture, Screamer. Oh! I don't, I'm not familiar with that, so... I guess it wasn't as familiar as I thought it was. But what's wrong with this picture, Screamer? Like, that sounds familiar, but I couldn't tell you what that is in my head. What the hell?! Oh my gosh! Trying to deal with these metal things in this is ridiculous. I, mean, I died twice for literally no reason. Other than I just got too close to the metal, I guess. Nice, 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 nice. Oh man, those bombs sure come in handy. Awesome. I just watched a review of the newer Dooms, and I can't wait till you play. Oh yeah, the newer Doom games are gonna be awesome, dude. I'm still on the classic ones right now. We're gonna be starting Doom 3 uh, probably here in a couple of weeks though, so that'll be one of the, I mean, that's still not really the newer Doom. Newer Doom would be like 2016 onwards, but still. You know, it's not, it's certainly not classic games. Like that awkward, um, adolescent years of Doom, I guess. Sure. Does blood and gore bother you? Not in video games, no. I thought it was a Freddy reference. Couldn't watch it in the internet. Um. CI2 is the best replay value because its waves are short and snappy. I guess it depends what's important to you in replay value because replay value is such a subjective thing from person to person anyway. Um, me, for example, and this is just more, this is more unique to me. Not a lot of people have the same play style I do, but for me personally, you know, I'm a completionist. So once I've completed something, it doesn't have much replay value uh, past that. But most people aren't like that, that odd about it. 
most people, it's just, they just kind of, like, play it for fun. And they'll just replay it, and it's just like, okay, well, what's, how's the experience compared to the first time I played it, and what's good? And so, all that nonsense being said. Oh, GP Lime is flying away. And there he goes. Legend has it. Oh, he just went to a different planet. Oh. Uh, is everyone, like, silently picking which planet they think I should go to next? Hell, hell, this one's good enough for me. Let's check it out. We finished this one. We finished the Lightning Planet. Let's check out Chi Kronos as our next one. This has six missions. Good stuff. Anyway, yeah, snap. Short and snappy. That does sound good. I mean, really, the first time I played... Not the first time. When I streamed Chicken Invaders 2... That was like, what, a, a two to three hour experience? Actually, I can tell you, I still have the play time for my Steam numbers. Um, yeah, I played it, oh no, six hours. Almost six hours. Yeah, funny story about this. I flew it once on rookie difficulty with no rockets, so I get the achievements, right? And then I did a second time on veteran mode, again with no rockets, accidentally shot a rocket off during like the last couple of waves and so had to completely replay it on veteran mode a third time just to get the no rockets achievement so yeah all right going to the bathroom and i'm gonna commit bathroom dance there good job man um chicken bears 4 is the most replayable i've completed that at least 100 times in the past I played that the most times as well and put the most hours into it for any other title except for CIU, of course. Um, however, I got really sick of it just because I replayed the campaign over and over just to grind keys to buy all the unlockables. I got I got kind of tired of it. It got old. Okay, Costly Moonlit is going to be the longest one. Uh, it's 32 waves, 100%, just like that mission from last time. But we're going to start off with Fine Ironstone. And, uh, yeah, let's do it. Cashy forgot the bathroom dance. Didn't forget it all. I came into elevator action with a Riddler. Bad choice. Um, I don't know what elevator action is. I'm assuming that's a particular mission. I don't know if that's, like, a famous one or, or not, but I don't recognize it just from the name. Pesky song, I recognize that. That's kind of... Just because we have some history with that one, but... Elevator action doesn't tell me much of anything. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Just gotta get all the eggs. Get all the eggs, son. Nice. Fun fact, there's a star called Pan. Is there really? That's interesting. Yeah, oh boy. Oh, he got him. Good job, man. Don't want to cross the beams. I've tried. It doesn't end well. Yeah, sometimes you throw it off. It's like an intermediary time before the little purple lines come back out. The precursor to the laser. Nice. There we go. Good job, guys. Handle that like pros. Absolute pros. Oh, crap. It, it. Got a laser here. Treasure chests are kind of rough to do when you just have something like a laser. You want something with a good spread. It's kind of like feather fields. Treasure chests and feather fields have a lot in common for weapon types. Whereas something like this, laser's gonna be your best friend. Damn. I'd rather have this than an absolver beam for something with spaceships. Usually just because of my well, not this particular wave, but in like the faster spaceship waves where they're coming at you a lot quicker. Shooting a laser and then moving back out. Those are the ones you don't want to solve the beam on. It's just too darn slow of a weapon. Cast gaming, use eight players. No, I'm not doing that. When you have uh, eight players, it gets too chaotic. Oh, 
I've learned to keep it to about five or six people max for the best experience. Otherwise, there's just too much going on, on the screen. You can't even barely keep track of it. Mega 10 multiplayer next. Nope, again, not doing that. Too many people. Yeah. Crap. Dang, nabbit. I mean, I like playing with everyone as much as the next guy, but you gotta, you gotta set limits on those things. Nice. Turn around. Thank you. Beautiful. 99 players win. We've actually done that before, Emerald. I think we got up to like... What was it? I think it was like 15 or 20 or something. It probably wasn't even that much. Or me, no, it was. I don't remember, actually. It was quite a few. Maybe it was around like a dozen or something. So, and uh, true, true to exactly what I predicted, you could not, for the life of you, <laughs> figure out what on earth was going on. I think that was how we ended off that time I just did a stream comprised of almost nothing but dares. Right, friendly dares, weak dares. That whole stream, right? That was how we ended it off, was with like a 99 player game. Or that was the limit. We obviously didn't get 99 people in. Six isn't much worse than five. Not a whole lot worse, but five's kind of the sweet spot I've learned. Just for the optimum experience. So. Whoop. Go over here now. Hello. Nice. Beautiful. Might even get away with seven players. Sure. The one way to have a crap ton of players is on supernova missions. One of that is true. Supernova missions is a different story. You can have tons of players on that, and it doesn't even matter. Certain mission types um, work better with a lot of players. But regular chicken evasions. Oh, another one. Another one. Here's another great example. Squawk Block. Sometimes. So, well, actually, usually, I dare say. Usually, Squawk Block is great with a ton of different players. But something like Chicken Invader, or not Chicken Invaders, <laughs> uh, Chicken Invasion, or Boss Rush, or something like that. Nah, keeping it limited is your best course of action. Now, um, kind of want something besides the Absolver Beam, but that's all good. Ah, oh, there you go. Nice. Nice. Lag? Ah. Well, I mean, your, your ping's at like... Oh, actually, his ping's pretty low. Or no, wait, I'm looking at the wrong indicator. No, his ping is like 200, 300. No wonder there's lag. It's rough. Having high ping is rough. Hey, I'm just still glad we can connect and play, though. Then again, believe it or not, back in like the 90s, when there was like dial-up internet, you had people like trying to connect from places like Italy to Texas over dial-up internet to play Doom multiplayer. So, I guess if they can do that, we can do chicken invaders all around the world. See, I used third anniversary multiplayer was absurd. Was it? I bet. I bet it got real wild. Oh, crap. Well, shot off that last rocket I stole. Because why not? There you go. Good job. All right, not crazy about only having seven power level, but hey, you know what? Turns out, this is actually the last wave. Nice. Good stuff. KJ1 says Featherfields too. Uh, sometimes. Depends on the Featherfield. See, I used third. Oh, I read that already. <sighs> I always change the player amount using cheat engine since it's faster than pressing the button many times. 
I guess that's true. If you had it set up for that. Anyway, random dude just dared you. Did he? I didn't even notice. Let's take a look at that. We dare. He did. It was a friend we dared. The oh, we got a couple of league dares I didn't even notice. Sweet. Got one from GB Lion. Got one from Ducky VN. I'm in position number 73. Do I want to give that up? Uh, not really. Unless I go higher. Which means I'd have to win these. Uh, three and a half. 4.1. Oof. It's a boss rush, too. All right, we'll get to those. Uh, for now, though, let's worry about finishing these last few missions. I'll tell you what we'll do, guys. I'll tell you what we're going to do, okay? I am going to do every single mission in this particular star system, all 29, and then, then we'll take a break and do the dares. So if you guys want to send me some dares, feel free, because we're going to do that after we're done with, uh, with this. Oh, hey, look, we got the whole crew over here now. We got GB Lyam, Star Brockle, me, these two other randoms, because sure. <laughs> Crafty Apparent, this is a boss rush. So let's go ahead and do this one next. Some of my footage from that will show up in the next trailer. Oh, will it, Emerald? Awesome. Hmm. Anyway, what was the highest player count in third anniversary? Over 40 or so? Cool. Cash will lose dare points if dare expires. Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware. I've uh, I've gained a few dare points and moved up a little bit, just simply uh, banking off of expired dares. So, all right. Let's uh, let's do it. Crafty apparatus. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna chill over here for a minute. There you go. Yep. Now we can just completely delete the lasers. It's even better. It's like I always say, why deal with the lasers? And you cannot. Nice, let's go. Good job, everybody. Grab the keys, thank you. Planetary Egg City. Yeah, this should be good. Oh, Kess, my friend. What's good, Star Brockle? Good. Hold up. Nice. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, <laughs> missed me. Yeet. Again, you missed me. Oh, no. I was trying to, like, avoid all those green things, be, like, super coy with it. And I face planted right into that last one. What you get for being coy, Cass? Sh sh shouldn't have tried it, dude. Doesn't work well. Oh, nice job with the rockets, boys. Woo wee! Okay, well, that was poor timing. Little bird food, nice. Alright, we got the lightning rays now. Power level still seven. Oof. We're doing the Adrian bathroom dance, apparently. And here's Thundercluck with the really big hitbox. Oh, 40%. That's not too shabby. Ooh, some of these. Thank you very much. We'll definitely take you, make use of those. Nice. Good deal. No fire always says anyway, see ya. Alright, dude. Just get out of here with us. Hope you have a good one. Throwing all the fruits at us and everything. Oh crap. Well, that's a lot of satellites getting thrown about, huh? This is actually a really convenient place to have a satellite mounted is right in front of your ship. Especially if it's like the, uh, whatever the fire stuff is called, I don't remember. Barbecuer. The barbecuer is good to be mounted in the front. Good at clearing projectiles. Grab some much needed charity, thank you. And this is going to be the party chicken. You clip that? Eh. Nice job, dude. Good 
job. Henry's Comet. Oh no, it's the big, uh, big Comet boss. This one's great until you get to about 25% and it starts throwing more stuff at you. At least to give you some presents. Oh no. Smash me. And chill over here. 80%, nice. Make that 90. Nice. GG, guys. All right. And that is mission complete, ladies and gentlemen. Martian King says, what is your favorite movie? Well, I don't really quite have a favorite movie. I've got uh, a good handful that I like, though. Let's see. Um, Ready Player One, that one's good. Napoleon Dynamite is good. Source Code. If I had to pick, like, just one, I'd probably go with that. That is an excellent movie. So, if you guys haven't seen Source Code, you should totally go watch it. It is criminally underrated. It's like, imagine... No, no, I was gonna say... I was gonna try to compare it to a movie like, uh... Oh, what's that one with dreams that's so famous? Inception. I was gonna try to compare it to Inception because it's it's similar, but it's actually, now that I think about it, it's very, very different. So, but yeah, check out Source Code. It's a good movie. All right, so that was mission number two here on Chi Kronos. So we're making some good progress. This is like the most purple planet ever. Wow. Um, okay, so our next mission is gonna be Torn Creo Preservation. Nine waves, 12 to 21%. You know, it's amazing for an early access game, CIU has like tons of content. Mm. Back to basics. Let's do it. Whoop. I mean, this is pretty basic. Just stand over here and just wait for them to dive bomb us, destroy their faces in the process, get those pecking order bonuses. Pretty basic. Are you making a second stream today? Nope, just the one this morning. We'll have another stream on Monday. Nice. Ready Player One is trash. Okay, first of all, you're wrong. And you're dumb for even suggesting it. Uh, but I'm gonna read the rest of your answer anyway, because I genuinely want to hear why you think so. Now, you might be one of those people who are like, I read the book and it was so much better. And to, to that, I would just say, well, I haven't read the book, but you're probably right. Because book versions are almost always better than their movie adaptations. But I mean, making that comparison is a little silly to begin with, because I would just assume that the book is always going to be better than the movie. I think that's a safe assumption anyway. They completely misunderstood the gaming culture. If anyone could play the anyone, where the hell are the obnoxiously oversized monsters? Oh, oh. Oh, I see what you're saying, Chicken Ward. You didn't like Ready Player One because people could design their own avatars and there were never any obnoxiously oversized monsters. I think you're kind of think you're kind of missing the point of that, but okay. I mean, that's true. That's true. That is a that would be something you would see should there be a real life adaptation of that movie. But I wouldn't call the entire movie trash just for that one reason. Oh, it didn't have realistic character creation. Like real gamers would make. Okay, so what? It didn't have mod support either. What's your point? Uh. Uh, it had Easter eggs. It was the closest thing you saw to mods. It's not really a mod, but... Anyway, Larson says, bye. Gonna watch all the Chicken Invaders series. All right, man. Hope you enjoy them. There's a ton of Chicken Invaders content. Oh, boy. Sam and Angel, welcome to the stream. Good to see you here, man. Oh, crap. Got right in the beam. Forgot all about it. What a goofy thing to do. GG, everybody. All right, other than the death there at the end, that went pretty darn well. 
It's more Borple. Borple is not a real color. Ugh, I gotta go. I'll be back in a while. All right, what's good having you here, man? All right, so we're gonna go ahead and assign that to Yeez and Cheese. And we got Costly Moonwit. This is the long, hard, obnoxious one. Uh, ooh. Wait a minute. This is one times seven, one times six. Okay, everything after this is like super short, but this one is a good handful. Yeah, I knew I was about ready to run out of lives. We need to buy some more. We were earning like tons and tons of keys though. Like we were at 5,000 earlier. In fact, we weren't even at 5,000 at the start of the stream, I don't think. So that's exciting to see. I mean, I get it. Keys are uh, hard to come by and you'll spin them quickly. But it's still nice to see we're earning them at a decent little rate. We're not blowing them all on lives. At fifty dollars for fifty dollars, I'm an idiot. Fifty keys for a tin pack. You know what else makes me an idiot? How I handled the balloon chickens. It's kind of stupid. Are you bloody kidding me? Man, I hate the balloon chickens. And I hate my oversized hitbox and everything else that I can think of. Wow! Having two power levels sucks. You know what? I'm just chilling over here. I'm just gonna provide assistance from the sideline. Let's like, screw all that nonsense. Like, really? This is sad. Bruh. Bruh, indeed. Nothing but a big old bruh. Cast, do you like your BX9? Uh, not, not really. No. I actually like my cuisiner much better. But I'm assuming it's either gonna need, like, some upgrades, or it's just gonna be a requ an acquired taste. But so far, no. I like the cuisiner much better. So, like, this is like, this is like, uh, has the potential to be more powerful, but I feel like I rarely ever get to live up to that potential in a meaningful way, because I'm either dying too often to ever get to that point, or we're just playing, uh, with enough people on an easy enough mission that it's fairly inconsequential. Anyway. So, what I'm thinking is like, where the BX9 will really end up shining for me. Dang freaking Navig! Got too close to the edge there again. Anyway, yeah, I'm thinking where it'll really end up shining is when I either get used to the hitbox, or just get like a, uh, a legendary version that has a smaller hitbox. Or, yeah, so that, or when I'm like doing solo missions, like Galactic Cup, or Dares, or whatever, right? Some variant of that. Probably then, I'll actually start seeing some of the perks of the BX9. But as it stands right now, no, it's, it's not really that great. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Oh, hey. Managed to avoid all that. Just thinking coward chickens. Tiny little laser, too. Whoop. Whoop. Wow, that sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna solo the next mission. Sounds good, man. Nice. Nice try, dummies. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just too darn weak. Three power level is not enough. Wow. Okay. He's gonna, wow, how long is this bloody wave? How long is it? Oh my gracious, okay, we got it. Gonna call for now, I'm hungry as heck. It was fun playing with you, Cassie. Yeah, it was good playing with you too, man. Get you some food, I get that. Gotta maintain some sustenance. Mosh Wizards, welcome to the stream, dude. It's good to see you. All right, Mosh Wizards says, good morning, Kess. Good morning to you as well, buddy. Martian King says, do you play I'm planning any Wolfenstein this year? Um, not really, no. Check out these ones in the middle. Oh, crap. 
Nice. Nice. All right, let's just stay here in the middle, and then we're gonna drop down. Now, you might be asking the cast, what's the point of that exercise? You know what, that's an excellent question. I would tell you, but it's all part of my secret plan, so don't worry about it. Okay. No, I just, I genuinely don't even know. Oh, man. What game we play after this? After Chicken Invaders? Um, let's see. Well, our next stream. Okay, so currently, in addition to the Chicken Invader stream, I'm working on some videos for San Andreas. So, um, that'll be the content you see on the channel next. So that's kind of like what I'm working on over the weekend. Because we've got, let's see, what do we got going on, San Andreas, right now? We've got to run around the map and collect all the horseshoes. And we got a couple of very mission specific achievements that I missed that we're gonna go back and replay a couple of missions for. So yeah. All right, don't use clucker bombs. I can't see everything, but my computer is very slow. Yeah, I've noticed uh, clucker bombs in general seem to, oh crap. I was trying to go for that present, but I don't even know why forks would be a better use of my force would be a better choice for this but for some reason in my head I'm going to fly as well. Anyway. Yeah, crap. Crap! Dang, nabbit! Forgot about the laser again, didn't I? At least he dropped plenty of power-ups. That's very helpful. Oh, I made it that time. Okay, my bloody hitbox did not screw me up that time. Eh, but it did then. Now I'm down to like nine lives out of like 20 or something. That's ridiculous. No wonder my power level is so low. Clucker bombs are OG. Yeah, they definitely screw up people who have like very much more weaker computer systems, I've noticed. It's an absolute killer for people's frame rates. Nice. Martian says, you're gonna start a new series on a totally new game. No, see that's not what I do, dude. I don't start series on new games typically until I've already finished a pre-existing one. Cause what happens when you do that is then you're just left with a trail of unfinished series on your channel. Or you're way too, um, Or you're just way too spread out. So you're playing a ton of different games but not making any real progress in any of them. So no, no, new new series on the channel, uh, unless for like shorter games, rarely come around until I've already finished a bigger series. So that's why, that's why you aren't gonna see me uh, starting a series on Wolfenstein, or say, in the near future, because there is so much Doom content I still have yet to play. But then again, at the same time, going from Doom to Wolfenstein is a very natural evolution of a series, or not a natural evolution, but a natural progression, I guess you might say. So will that happen eventually? Sure. Can I comment on it being anytime soon, or? Something like that? Well, no. I don't know. I don't know how long it's going to take to finish something. We're just going to keep making content for it until we run out, and then we're going to move on to something else. That's generally how it goes. All right. Let's take these guys out. Nice. And the metal. Oh, boy. Talking Tom says, no, no, no. Mission failed. Very much every day. Oof. Oof, man. All right, I got seven lives, and we're not even ha we're not even halfway through. We're not even halfway through, and I've died like a gazillion times. All right, I gotta I gotta just watch it. I gotta just focus on staying alive because I only have seven. I only have seven more lives. 
again, what was I supposed to do there? There's just too darn many of them. There's too darn many. It. Yeah, boy. Afraid of that. Crap. Dang, nabbit. Also, the reason why he's cluster bombs is because of double team missions. Yeah, I can see that. I can see why you do that. Hey, cluster bombs are great about clearing out the screen and stuff. Oh, man. Let's grab some of this. Another power level, thank goodness. We're up to like seven now. We gotta keep an eye on everybody else's to make sure there's not too much of a disparity between all of us. For example, I'm at about nine now, and the average is like six or seven for everybody else. So I'm gonna start leaving some of those uh, power ups for everyone else to grab. What? Well, what the hell? Nobody grabbed that one. What? Really? When I left it? Ah. Oh. Well, screw that. I'll just grab them all then. Be a greedy little stinker. I'm teasing. But probably what it was was everybody was like, oh, I don't I don't need this as much as some other guy. I'll leave it for them. And then just nobody picked it up. Everybody probably had my idea. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, it's the big X. It's the five gray one. I hope not. But probably. Yep, it is. Well, if the hitboxes don't screw me up on this one, it'll be a bloody miracle. Because I usually detest this egg. Nope, yet somehow we're doing okay. Didn't mean to fire that rocket, but that's alright. Good job, guys. GG. Alright, that worked out great. Star Brockwell says your stream shut down. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't tell me the stream shut down. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, our, uh, our bit rate just totally, totally died there for a second. All right, are we good? Are we good? All right, yeah, we're good. I apologize for that, everybody. Um, somebody pointed out in the game that, yeah, the stream just totally just died for a second. Just went bleh. Hold up. I'm going to restart the stream because we're still, deal we're still uh, dealing with some bit rate issues. So, give it one second. We're going to restart the stream. Oh, no, wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, no, we're still having some issues. Okay, we're going to restart the stream real quick and uh, hopefully fix that. So, BRB, everybody. All right, we are back. Give it a second to reconnect everything. All right, I think we are, uh, I think we're good. We are pretty good, guys. All right, so, sorry about that. We are now back. Let's continue our uh, our stream. Thank you, everyone, for pointing out to me that we were having some issues there. Yeah, for whatever reason, the internet just totally, uh, totally spazzed out on us. But we're back. We're ready to continue. Nice. More like Kes having internet issues. Yeah, a little bit. All good now, though. Oh, crap. That is a lot of chicken. A lot of uh, toxic waste, too. Toxic waste? Toxic waves? I don't know. I don't know. Warning, watch out for swooping chicken. Jack, yeah, just imagine. What? Nice.
Yeah. All right, asteroids. Send them at me. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop. Dang freaking nabbit. I can't, I can't freaking stay alive in this mission. There's just too much crap being thrown at me 24 seven. I got three lives. I got three lives left. Can I make it another 11 waves with three lives? I genuinely don't know. Sam says, okay, I'm back. Welcome back, Sam. I hope so. I freaking hope we can. Alien container, okay. Here we go. We're good now. Ugh. Okay, here comes the boss battle. What are we fighting? We're like three quarters of the way through the mission, by the way. That is an obvious. Oh, Planetary Egg City. I can see it, but we can handle this. Yeah, we got it. 90%. Let's go. Beautiful. Beautiful. GG, guys. Wow, look at all the presents. <laughs> Everybody grab them. Guess you hear that Saints Row Reboot only has 25 main and side missions, from what I heard. They're 50 minutes each, so I guess quality over quantity. Uh, Sam, I did hear about the 25 missions, but I did not hear that they're 50 minutes each. That's all news to me. So, um, having a smaller amount seems like an odd choice. If it really is a case of like quality over quantity, I guess that'd be fine. Um, crap. Dang nabbit. I mean, even even Saints Row 4 only had slightly more missions than that. And I didn't even feel like that particular game was... Well, no, it was kind of short in its own right. I mean, even the main campaign, like, not even messing with the side missions. For Saints Row 4 was 10 hours long, though. And, of course, that was playing it a second time with co-op. Mm. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to see. But yeah, I don't know. 25 missions does not seem like that much. But hey, if they were all like an hour plus long, or not an hour plus long, 50 minutes uh, long, it could still be, it could still be decent. But yeah, this would be the first, this will be the first uh, Saints Row game in basically like what, seven years? The industry and game design in general has changed a lot in that time period, especially in the AAA scene. So I just, I just don't really know. I don't really know what to, what to think. Oh, quadrilateral lightning. Finally seeing that coming to play, aren't we guys? I can't lie, this is actually pretty sweet. It's actually pretty sweet to have this much lightning. All right, here's the plasma gun, because reasons. Cocker bomb spamming is the best way to troll people, to be honest. I guess. Assuming that person has a, has a system that can't manage clucker bomb trolling. I got one life left, guys. We might... Oh, no, wait. We only have three waves left. We've actually come really far. Okay. I must not die. That's, like, imperative. Because if I, if I die, I literally have to do this whole piece of crap over again. Okay? And I swear, if I have to do this a second time, I'm going to switch back to my cuisiner. Because this is just too much. This... Yeah. Yeah. Rip. Sorry, everybody, but that's the end of that mission. Yeah, I'm switching back to the Cuisiner for that one. It's just, there's too much crap being thrown at you. 
And the hitbox for the BX9 is just too darn big. So I'm gonna switch back to this. We're going to switch the weapons, the boosters, everything back over. And uh, redo that mission again. Because that was annoying as hell. All right, M408, weapon boron, booster accumulator. Here's the satellite. But yeah, big old rip on that one. Sorry, everybody. I did my did my darndest to try and stay in there, but it was just not happening. Uh, I will say one thing though. I do want to upgrade this. Should I do it from the store or should I wait? I don't really want to wait, so we'll just do it here from the store, the Hall Effect Thruster. Oh yeah, that was like the cheapest upgrade anyway. Getting it from the store was fine. Okay, good deal. So we're gonna try that once more with our, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fleet. Forgot the hard points. Actually forgot to unequip them from this one too. There you go. Oh yeah, there's an unmount all button. I forgot to use it a second time, didn't I? Oh, uh, oh, 10 side missions. Okay, so 25 main missions and 10 side missions. That's, that's, seems like an oddly small amount. So 35 missions in total, not counting activities. Quite honestly, that's probably fine. Um, again, we'll just see how the game, how the game actually ends up playing. Usually the numbers aren't that important as long as the game has like got good quality around how what the actual missions are. You know what I mean? As opposed to just straight up number of missions. Like San Andreas is 100 plus missions and it's fantastic, but it's a really good game. It was designed well and there was a ton of content thrown in from the ground up. So that's maybe a different story than like what they're trying to do with Saints Row. Uh, okay, so we got the fleet. There's the M408 Cuisiner. Okay. So we moved everything over to that. So let's give this another try, shall we? Because that was, uh, oh, hold up, forgot about lives. That was a little bit embarrassing. So yeah, big ol' oof on that one. Let's give it another try. You know what else I need to do? I almost want to buy some more cluster bombs myself. I miss cluster bombs. Oh, the unmount all, that's right. Oh boy. Alrighty, guys. Costly Moonwit, round two. Big oof. Yeah, GPYM, you're right, buddy. That was a big oof. Okay, but we'll get him this time, though. Yeah, it's really it's really tough, like, switching over to the VX9 and not only having to rewarn the slower movement speed, but also having to deal with, like, the bigger hitbox. So... But I'll keep, uh, I'll keep practicing with it. We'll put some more time into it. But for this mission, yeah, we're clear we're gonna need something a little bit, a little bit more dependable. Well, rip mission progress. I know, right, Star Brockle? It was rough. Hey, you know what the good news is? You almost always do better with a mission your second time to rip. So even just having the better equipment aside, or the better ship for the job, or whatever you want to call it. Um, this will probably go much better, just simply from experience. I always felt like San Andreas had a lot of filler content, just my hot take. You see, I didn't feel that way at all. Um, the only the only thing that I would even begin to describe as filler content in San Andreas would just be maybe the fact that it has like so many different sets of collectibles. But that doesn't really bother me. I like collectibles in games. Um, but I made a similar, but I mentioned something similar when I played Saints Row 2 because like San Andreas, it also had several sets of collectibles. In fact, if anything, Saints Row 2 drew some hard inspirations from San Andreas. Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, dang, nabbit! 
Uh, maybe the problem isn't my ship. Maybe it's how I approach these stupid, uh... These stupid cower chickens. Grab that. Thank you. Whoop. Just help myself there. Whoop. Dang freaking nabbit! Every time. Every time. Alright, I'm gonna just chill over here for a second. Hey, come up here and get me. Come up here and get me. Mission accomplished. <laughs> How'd I not die? I don't know, man. Skills, probably. I mean, you're some random dude VN. Where are we? You got, you got them. <laughs> okay. Grab all this. Nice. Yeah, we'll just target. We'll just target the balloon chickens. We can handle them together. Yeah. Even when on our own, maybe not so much. Nice. Oh no! Rip. Poor fella. Goodvin BG Hero CIU. Oh yeah, that's right. That shouldn't shouldn't go gaming username. First time I think I've seen you join us in a mission. Nice. Stinking bad chickens. What are they called? Slobs? Yeah, that's what they're called. Slobs. Accurate name, too. Pretty darn accurate. Oh no! Alchemist chicken left. Rip. Dead. Dang. Freaking nap. I'm just not prepared for that. You think I would be? I'm down here with everyone else. But no, not really. Not really prepared for it. Yeah, we're already down to like 13 lives. Like a quarter of the way through. But it makes sense, they have so many crap flinging chickens that they throw th at you early on in this mission. Hard and lag. Yep, hard and lag. Not a, not a great combo. Yeah, this mission is tough. I can't lie. This one really, really puts it, uh, really puts it, puts it on you. You know, cast mastering the BX9 is hard but rewarding. Oh, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it for a second. The query has some good advantages to it. That being said, this probably isn't the piece of trash. Probably, this probably is not the mission to be uh, doing that on. I mean, I'm struggling enough just to even, just to even stay alive in this as it is. Whoop. Trying to use the popcorn. Hold up, we've almost got him, we've almost got him. Nice! Good job, guys. All right, and there we go. Lemonade 925, welcome. He says the noises are hilarious. Oh, they are. They are, Chicken Invader's got some great sound effects. Nice. Alrighty. Anyway, I'm just talking about the main missions, not the other things you can do. Oh, you thought you thought San Andreas had filler in its main missions? Like what? Oh crap, I'm trapped in an awkward position. We got out of it somehow. Good deal, I guess. Yeah, I didn't feel that yeah, I, I don't know, Sam. I can't uh I can't really see it personally. I didn't 
notice the content. Or any filler in San Andreas' missions. Though that being said, I have only played the game once. You've probably played it a little bit more for longer. So, makes sense you can pick up on that. Sean Sweet Johnson, welcome to the stream. Good to see you, man. We're doing some Chicken Invaders Universe today. Trying to, anyway. Nice. Get rid of Fatty there without setting him off. Oh, dang, freaking nabbit. I always forget to move out of the way of those bloody portals. Nice, we got him. All right, especially when there's a load of cowards and swabs. It's kind of out of your control. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. I mean, harder missions like that, when you're when you're already deal, trying to deal with an overly large hitbox, it's just not the best time to be learning a new ship. Crap. I mean, look, I'm, all, I'm, I'm using the ship I normally use, and I'm still struggling to stay alive. Freak, we're not even halfway through the... Oh, I managed to avoid dying that time. We're not even through halfway through the mission yet, though. We are close. I mean, it's just, it's rough going. Dang, yeah, but I was trying to get the accumulator to start going. It was not, not cooperate. Whoop. There we go. Gets rid of them. Some of these, thank you. Oh, this crap again. Nope, nope. I'm gonna absolver beam this right, right, right into the nothingness. Yeah, just let me handle, let me just let me support class this one, boys. Oh, are you serious? You stupid spaceship crap. Oh my gosh. It was BS. Yeah, get rid of him. Get rid of here. Okay. What am I supposed to do with these gas chickens? Like, give me a break. Whoa, it's scary indeed. Yeah, no stink it is. All right, we're gonna wait for those to dissipate before we get this last one, because it's gonna spit out some more at us. Yep, told you. It's gonna spit out some balloony chickens. Whoop. Really, you guys are hiding in the corner? No help? Really? Hey, you know what, guys? No maidens. No maidens for any of you. All right, your boy over here just lasering these fools down. What are you doing? Also, Absolver is weak versus UFOs because of that reason. Yeah, for real. Worked great against those those slob chickens, though, didn't it? Where Kess? Kess, for using all your lives before finishing the mission, it means you failed the mission. Dude, I know what it means. I mean, what do you, what, do you think I've never played Chicken Invaders before? What do you mean it makes you fail the mission, huh? Obviously, we still have to kill them. We can't just sit in a corner the whole, the whole mission. I mean, come on. Where's your, where's your sense of pride? Where's your dignity? We're, we're men, we're manly men out here. We're, we represent yee yees and cheese, dang nabbit. Oh, some of us do. Just saying, you got nine li lives left. This mission is a pain. Okay, but again, the only way to finish it and to succeed is to go out there and fight, not hide in the corner. Only halfway. Well, you know what, man? I'm still doing. I'm still doing better than I was last attempt. I was already through. Like, I only had like seven lives left out of twenty before we hit the halfway mark. Besides, the first half of this is way harder than the second half. Also, screw this metal in. This thing is such garbage. I hate this boss so much because of its stupid laser pattern. It's not even that hard. It's just if you mess it up, it's like the most infuriating thing ever. Whoop. Nice. All right. GP Lime says, all right, I'm taking a break. Keep at it, you guys. Have a good one, buddy. Mike Keen says, hello, Kess. What's up, Mike Keen? Are we good? Yeah, we are. Gotta take all these guys out first, though. Whoop. 
Whoop. Nice. There we go. Now we're making some progress. Yeah, we're destroying the balloony birds. It's amazing. Okay. Yes, he didn't mention it, but Dennis is my brother. Oh, okay, cool. It's nice your brother came to check us out, man. This mission is trash. It's pretty awful, Star Bronco. I can't lie. It's a pretty, it's a pretty awful, infuriating mission. But hey, you gotta have the challenging ones thrown in there. Nobody, nobody ever said doing every single mission in the entire universe would be an easy task. Look out! About to kill the slobs. Nice, nice. You guys had it. All right, 20 out of 32. I got forks, so thankfully a weapon with a good spread for this. Oh boy. People in the corner be like, oh gee, Kess is so good, he doesn't need any help. Yeah, they, I don't, I don't exactly think that was what was going through their minds. Maybe, who knows. Sam says, way I see, Sandrace, that Act 1 has a lot of filler. Act 2 is great. 3 could use more missions. 4 is the same with 3. 5 had a lot of filler. Okay. People, anyway. Uh, Sean asked Sam if he has a new girlfriend. Probably because Angel is in his username now. And Sam says, no, it's his daughter. Dogs are oftentimes better than girlfriends anyway. So let's, let's be on it. Crap! You need eight players now. I most certainly don't. Because it's max five players, yeah. We, we maxed it out to five. If you thought it was hard to beat this with five people, it'd be a nightmare trying to do it with eight, all the stuff flying around. I don't know, on a time like this, it's a toss up because on one hand, yes, having tons of people would make it harder because it would make it difficult to see anything. On the other hand, all the extra satellites and firepower would probably clear up some of all the crap flying around. So who knows? Again, though, I don't want to risk it. Anyway, so it's my dog, Nate. If you watch any of my content, you would know my dog is in my outro. Oh, I forgot you made stuff, Sam. Let's forget about that. So that's cool, dog, to look at your dog and your outro. <laughs> oh, dude, bro. Bro, that was, that was lame. That was stupid lame. All right, we got six, we got six lives left. Let's not waste them. Because we've only got, oh, wait a minute. You know what? I can die once for each wave and we'll still win. All right, so this is the one where they all come at us. So let's start, let's start shooting and spamming. Let's start shooting and spamming. Okay, maybe not. Oh no, wait, no, that actually worked, sort of. That actually sort of worked for everybody. So let's do it again. Okay, that didn't work for very long. Probably, probably got a little bit ahead of myself with that one. Dazzling coordination. Five lives, Rip. Yeah. That's really on me. That was just unnecessary. That was an unnecessarily large amount of risk. Nice. Good deal. Caged animal. 
Sounds like my brothers. We got him. Conveyor belt. Let's go back out here. There you go. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the crazy one. This is the one where there's lasers and balloons and bomb and it's, it's different. Eggs. Randomly. Random eggs. Dang freaking nab it. I couldn't figure out where to go. Alright, that's okay. We're fine. Dang freaking nabbit! Ah! This wave is the worst. Alright, we just got the ones from far away, though. I think we can handle that. Three lives yet left. I know, right? It's infuriating. Of course, the problem is I died twice on this one, because this one's retarded. This is like stupid makes stupid face. The wave. That wasn't very mature, Kesh. Yeah, you're right, it was not. Okay. Finished all the assignments. Good job, KJ1. Uh. Yeah, normally I would assign this to Yeez and Cheese, but I think I'm gonna make an exception. If it took if, if it took me like two attempts to get through this, and I barely even made it on the second attempt. I'm not gonna put you guys in that kind of crap. But good job on completing the assignments, bro. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, we got him. We deflated them at least. This is crazy. Yep, a little bit. A little bit crazy, dude. Nice. These guys, there's in this weird, awkward little area. Oh boy. Jack Eugen, welcome to the stream. He says hello to you all. How are you all doing today? I'm doing great, brother. I'm listening to a song called Cruising in My 64. Huh, never heard of that. Uh, Zaduckman, welcome to the stream. It's good to see you. He says hello. Wait, it has multiplayer? Chicken Invaders Universe? Well, it's an MMO. White? No, it's not even a white. It's just a straight up MMO. So yeah, it has multiplayer. There is most certainly multiplayer in this. Up to 99 players to a mission. Although I always cap it off at five, but because you get more people than that, it gets a little too crazy. Much of the time. What? Nice. Let's go. GG, guys. I hate Superstar Hero. I can see why. GG, everyone. That was all well-earned. GG. We barely scraped that one out. This is so satisfying to watch. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. I think I'm going to try this game whenever I get a chance. Maybe when I get home from work. Yeah, go for it, dude. It's a good game. You can get it for free on Steam, too. Yee-yees and cheese. Beautiful. Oh, no! Oh! I didn't mean to do that! I just did that instinctually without even thinking about it. Sorry, KJ1. Sorry, Arnov. Oof. I, I genuinely did not mean to do that. Freak. Okay. I don't even, I don't even really... If you guys skipped that one, I honestly wouldn't even blame you. <laughs> Gosh, and you just said you weren't gonna sign. I know, I know. It was an accident. Okay, other Guisando. Other Guisando? Wait a minute, where's the first Guisando? Next day. All right. Wow, we've been going for two hours, boys. It's crazy.
crazy, isn't it? And we made some good progress, though. All right, other Glissando is gonna be our next mission. This one's gonna be way shorter. Oh yeah, lives. Better stock up on those, huh? We'll get two 10 packs for 100 keys. So if I don't need them now, I will definitely need them later. Oh, excuse me. All right, guys, so other Glissando. This one's gonna be like stupid easy by comparison. Pidgey says, I'm gonna do it now. All right. Awesome, man. Go for it. You'll probably be like the first to to successfully pull it off. Pidgey out here being the real man, huh? Nice. Don't yell troll at him. It's... I mean, is he trolling? Maybe. Is, is, it, is it working? Yeah. I mean, like... Got the chickens killed, at least. All right, next generation, probably unnecessary, though. Probably an unnecessary, uh... I mean, that would have been far more helpful in the last mission than it is in this one. And this one is just, like, unnecessary. It's just a waste of perfectly good cluster bombs. Just made two people crash. Uh, oh, well. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Uh, Duckman says, hey, Cash, you forget me or something? No, I can't forget you, man. Stay. That's good to see you, dude. No, I actually thought it was the other way around. I hadn't seen you in a hot minute. But hey, it's good, uh, good to see you here. He says, anyway, Dang didn't know this series was a part of my childhood. Oh, you and me both. I've been playing Chicken Invaders since I was like five years old. So, and Chicken Invaders Universe came out in 2018. It was like an MMO spinoff of the original series, with the last mainline entry being Chicken Invaders 5 coming out in 2014, I think is correct? Or maybe 2010. Or was it four? Yeah, who cares? You, you get the idea. It's an old, it's an old series, but you got Chicken Invaders Universe. It's awesome. It's probably my favorite out of all of them. And uh, yeah, you should check it out. Anyway. Oh boy, it's a lot of metal. Oh, we, we handled it though. I just keep dying. I feel you, Star Brockle. It sucks. Nice. All right, boss time. Going to grab some power-ups. I'm not ashamed of charity. I'm not ashamed of getting handouts. Plenty of bullets too. Probably gonna, need you. Probably gonna need them. Nice, or not. All right, GG guys. It was great. Blasphemy says KJ1. Yes, yes, I know. You like the single player ones better. Get over it. I mean, think about it, KJ1. Think about it, buddy. Ugh. What other Chicken Invaders games has 16,000 missions? Okay. Which other one has a thousand different star systems? Which other one has this much customization? or upgrades or RPG elements or that you could put 90 plus hours in without it just being replaying the campaign over and over again to grind for keys. Universe is where it's at, man. I'm just saying. I remember when I used to play it on my Windows XP PC. Well, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I think all of us started off there, buddy. Had that PC for 11 years. Wow. Call that a boss? Well, it was, you know, it wasn't a very high difficult. Well, that's fairly high, but not really. <laughs> this one's gonna be even easier, and it's only six waves. This will be the last mission for this particular planet. Needy steepness. Okay, that's just sad. Needy steepness. Oh, oh this is Squawk Block. I didn't realize that. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, well that's fine. Would I have done anything differently knowing that? No. Okay. Well, <laughs> point doesn't really matter then, does it? You're good. Oh boy. Oh boy. Nice. 
Christ. All right, say no to RPG elements. Say yes to good mouse controls and chicken invaders, too. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a hell no on that one. Good mouse controls. Now, nah, give me, give me uh, RPG elements any, any day of the week. Crazy Squawker. All right. Okay. Well, too much going on, on the screen. Oh, hey, we're done already. Wow, less than a minute of play time. GG. Good job, guys. I mean, to be fair, it was Squawk Block, but still. That was a short one. Oh, man. All right, we'll assign that one to Yeez and Cheese. How many missions is that, or excuse me, assignments is that? I guess it'd be 11, wouldn't it? Yep, yep it would. Alrighty guys. So let's see, we did this planet, we did this one. We got this big one right next to us, Beta Kronos. Look at this bad boy. Got rings and everything, amazing. All right, so this one has five missions. The first one's pretty long. 32 waves. <laughs> not that not that hard though. 27. Oh yeah, these this one's got some longer uh, missions on it. They're all chicken evasion except for the second one, which is squawk block. Alrighty, let's continue. Bode interpolation. Bowed interpolation? Bode inter I don't know, man. I don't know what the stick is supposed to be. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Portal guy. That yeah, sounds about right. He's gonna just shoot the chickens out at us. Like you do. Whoop. Hey, Zolver Beam's almost a little too slow for that wave. Rolling ball of chicks. I feel a little bit more uh, confident with this this way for it. Or not. Yeah, maybe not. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll grab this laser. There you go. That'll be the tool for the job. Complex fractals. Okay. Okay, this is what I thought of when I thought of rolling ball of chicks with something more like that. A big old circle full of chickens coming at us. Far be it from the game to live up to the names of its waves, though. All right. Bullet. Oh boy. Okay, that's not enough. That's not enough firepower for those big ones. Oh, no, it is though. Well, oh, that's weird. Look how awkward that is. Wow. He never talked. Yasser. Yasser never talked. Oh. And somebody else was like, "Why never?" Maybe he's mute. Maybe he's just a quiet soul. I don't know. There's like a million reasons why people will talk. He never typed in game and CIU. Oh. Maybe he never had anything to say. There's plenty of reasons why people don't talk. Nice. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at the power-ups. Look at the keys. Look at the food. I still need to sell my food, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, you guys are right. <laughs> All right, we will, eventually. But it's darn convenient for us to do so. That's what we'll do it. Right now, it's not very convenient. We got we got more important things to do, like take over the star system. Oh boy, oh boy. I don't like being this close to the edge of the map. Oh, it worked out. Oh no, it didn't either, because I hit something. Oh, crap. All right, 87%. 90%. Nah, oh, boy. Okay, that was a little close for comfort. Whoop, nice. We got him. GG. Good job, guys. Woo woo. Adrian bathroom dance. Let's go. Why am I still alive? Because you didn't die? 
sure. What's with that? Skills? I mean, what else would it be? All right, good stuff. Uh, ooh, look at all them chicks. Look at them chicks. Look at them. Oh, no, 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 not the gas ones. Not the gas ones. Oh, it worked out. Okay. Spiral of Doom. Well, I think 99% luck and 1% skill. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Okay, well, didn't do a great job of holding them off for too long, did I? Here, we'll get them the second time around. There you go. Bam, and some lightning. Thank you. Alrighty, soft in the middle. Just like you want your eggs to be. Yeah, maybe not. I prefer mine to just be hard to boil all the way through, quite frankly. Do you want your chicken to be soft in the middle? Soft, yes, but not cooked. Or no, you do want it cooked. You don't want it to be raw. Like fried chicken. It's good if it's kind of like soft. Soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside. That's good. That's what good fried chicken is like. I'd like to think that's how Space Burger makes theirs. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right, good deal. Nasty surprise. Oh, the little, the little wizards inside that shoot out the lasers. Yeah, that is a nasty surprise. And uh, it falling down and crushing my ship head on. That's a nasty surprise too. And, yep, crossing the laser beam. Just We're just full of nasty surprises today. Power level of five, that's a nasty surprise. Your mom, that's a nasty, okay, no, no. Let's, let's not do that. Let's not go there, guys. Come on, this, this is people's families we're talking about. Like, come on. I, mean, I had to make the joke though, it was really just right there. All right, good deal. GG, everybody. You guys need to chill that wave. No, they, they were on it, dude. They were on it. All right, we got a key right here. Very nice. We got this fella. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Nice. Ship out of the sky. There you go. Get the coin. Cherry bomb. Cherry bomb. Don't know how to feel about that one. I'd say generally positive. Considering it makes getting these big old groups of chickens a lot easier. The balloon ones, I'm not sure about, but that's, that's kind of rough. Nice. All right, KJ1 says, I wish you could buy lives when you die before failing the mission. Kind of like it, uh, I don't even describe it, dude. It kind of be like it's Subway Surfers. Have any of you guys ever played that mobile game, Subway Surfers? Um, in that game, if you die, it pops up and it says, would you like to keep going for a certain number of keys? Right? That would be kind of cool. Like if you ran out of lives and chicken bears would pop up on the screen and it'd be like, would you like to continue? You know, buy lives with this number of keys. It'd be more expensive than even what lives are from the market, obviously, because you're paying extra in order to continue the mission having to start, instead of having to start over again. That'd be a cool addition. So. I don't think uh, IA would ever be down to change it, but it would be a nice addition. Time to use 2% of my true power. Oh, guys. He capitalized the T and the P in true power. Wow. Amazing. That, that's how you know he's talking serious game here. <laughs> All right, got a whole crowd of people coming out. There you go. There you go. Destroy them. Make them suffer. Okay, maybe that, that's a little bit much, I guess. Come on now. Nice. Oh, yeah. Good deal. Tag, you're it. All right. Oh, wait. Is this what I think it is? Oh, no. 
Not one of these ways where they're throwing soccer balls at you or footballs or whatever the hell you want to call them. Nice. All right, sweet. Giant robotic spacecraft. All right, same boss, same outcome. Instantly destroyed. Nice. Good job, guys. GG. And... Well, we got seven more waves. I actually thought that was the end. I lost track of the mission count. Oh, no! Oh! I, I avoided it, guys, and it died on the crap! Yay me! Sort of. Uh-oh, wait. Okay, never mind. I thought we were having that audio glitch again. I'm sorry for anybody I killed with that temporary pause. I thought there was like this weird, like, uh, audio, like, looping in the background. We've had that issue before. But no, we're good. Actually, that, well, no, that does start in the middle of random waves sometimes. You just don't usually notice till you're, like, back on the main menu screen. Nice, 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 nice. Wow. Look in all directions. Are they gonna like come from all areas? Like the Terminator chickens? Yep, yep, it's Terminator chickens all over again. Fun, fun. Nice. Hey, one at a time though. Way better than three at a time. Way more manageable. Or, or not. Or it's just not, you know. Okay, there's the, uh, the slob one. Got him. Not too much trouble. Absolver beam would be good for clearing that out. Nice. Gonna set ourselves up some more screen real estate. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Whoop. Get destroyed. Way too big of a bee for just one little chicken. But it still works. Cast gaming. He uses five players. Yes, I, well, I don't. I don't use you guys. I, mean, I, I don't hope. I hope not, anyway. But if you mean I limit it to five players, yeah, yeah, I most certainly do. Watch an Aaron to continue playing, says it will. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd prefer it not go that route. I mean, the last thing I want is to be playing Chicken Invaders Universe and get like an ad for what? Billard's Club download on Facebook or something. I don't want that. Nobody wants that. What they need to do is do like some some paid some paid promotion, but in a manner that's uh you know coy about it. Like uh like if for example, I'll give you a great example, right? Let's say that you took a turn of it like Galactic Cup. Okay. And people who like continuously want it like Wiz or or not even not even just that but just like people who entered the Galactic Cup they would like uh, there would be like sponsors of the event right and the sponsors would be like real world companies or other games like what if World of Tanks just as a random example like sponsored the Galactic Cup and it would say Galactic Cup sponsored by World of Tanks that would be both kind of cool and a little immersion breaking at the same time. So definite, definite pluses and minuses there. But if the whole idea is to make, uh, is to do ads, that'd be the one way to do it. That would be like the least obtrusive, I feel like. So, or another example. Do you guys remember when Death Stranding had monster energy drinks in there? It would be like that. Kombe Yubika, welcome the stream. He says, hello, my friend. What's good, man? Welcome the stream. Good to see you. I'm sorry if I butchered the pronunciation of your name. I do apologize. All right, guys. GG. Thank you all for uh, helping me fly that. That was Bode Interpolation. Now we're moving on to Acceptable Large. This one's 13 waves, 58, 71% difficulty. Squawk block this time around. Sam says... I don't mind ads and games, just as long as it's not messing with the gameplay, like in the start menu. 
It just depends on how they do it. Right. Well, watch an ad to continue playing. That's That messes with the gameplay. That's obtrusive. You know. Obtrusive versus integrated to the background. It's, it's a whole different story. All right, here we go. Squawk block. I'm ready. Oh, that was smart. Good job, man. Nice. Got a sneaky little uh, power level increase there. Nice. All right, that worked out pretty darn well, I do, I dare say. The fatty kins over there, very nice. Oh boy, no! Dang, freaking nabbit! And there go my, there go my uh, satellites too. Maybe I'll grab the back. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Power level, mine, mine! No! Oh, I hate the fat chickens so much. I just freaking hate them. Hey, I can't see for sat. What are you talking about? I can't see. Four satellites? That doesn't make any sense. That's not English. I can't see four satellites. You mean you can't see because of satellites? That would make sense. Okay, well, I officially suck. Let's see if we can get some charity over here. Yes. Yes. Give me all the goods. Oh, man. Alright, back up to power level seven. That's, that's somewhat of an improvement. There we go, good job. Oh boy. There you go, got a, got a better laser. It's all coming together. All right, nine to 13. These really are like really short waves. When all's said and done. Wow. Check that out, guys. Oh, we're at 10 now too, hooray! Over here and grab that. I got it. Okay. Good. I'm gonna start using some of that bird flu on that. How about it? Oh no, I died again! Ah! My bird flu! Got a little too crazy there, I guess. Whoop, get the key. Amazing. Completing costume movement. Dang, KJ1! I am impressed. My hat is off to you, sir. I'm not wearing a hat, am I? My headphones are off to you, sir. There you go. There you go. Uh, for real, though, KJ1. Good job. What? That was an egg. How did I die to a bloody egg? That's that's not even a good reason. That's just sadness. Okay, well. <laughs> GG, guys. Good mission. All right. No, it's all good, my friend. I don't know, but do you remember... I'm a friend of Dennis. He donated to you when you played Doom. A Dennis that donated to me when I played Doom. Oh, I I think I remember who you're talking about. I remember his name being spelled like D Zenis or something though. Maybe I just maybe I'm just remembering it weird. But yeah, I think I know who you're talking about, dude. So you're a friend of his. Cool, cool. Well welcome to the channel. It's good to have you here. So, I still play Doom, if you were curious. It's just clearly not the only thing I play. So, we got Chicken Invaders, too. Alright, KJ1 is on it. Pidgey's on it. Oh. Oh, yeah. He, he is. Okay. Uh, wow, we got tier 79. That's awesome. KJ1, KJ1. He never fails to impress, does he? All right, guys, so uh, that was the second mission on this planet. So let's now let's move on to wait a minute Yep knew it. I knew I died too many times Okay, let's try this again Let's go whoops almost quit by accident. All right, let's move on to nautical surmise Kirok 2011 welcome the stream man he says, Cass, how are you doing, buddy? I am doing pretty well. I'm not I'm not particularly shining forth with brilliant skills and chicken invaders, like I'd like to be, but other than that, not too shabby. Uh, hope you're having a good one, Kirok. Yeah, we're uh, we're working on doing some missions today. 
trying to drive the chickens out of yet another star system. And so far, so good. So we got hung up on a particularly nasty mission, though. 32 waves of pure havoc and chaos. It was, it was both glorious and terrible at the exact same time. As if a thing was even possible. All right. The hard one you were meant to skip. Right, right, of course. Yeah. It's not, it's not a title you were, you forget too often, Costly Moonlit. Want to trade places? You can run my store. I'll play video games. Uh, I think I'm good, Kirok, but thank you, sir, all the same. So I, I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather do this. Uh, I love, I, I, I legit love doing YouTube. So, YouTube is, YouTube is pretty awesome. It's, it's great to be able to play games, complete them, interact with awesome people. So, I love it. I really do. It's just neat, the little community we've built over the years, too. Alright, grab all this. Thank you. Egg Cyclone. Whoop. Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Okay. I realized the Absolver Beam was not the most ideal weapon for that. Lightning works much better. Flower power. Okay. What you got for us in terms of flower power? Whoop, whoop. KJ1 is flying acceptable large. Props to you, KJ1. Nice. Chicks and chickens. I can see it. Circle of them again, or no, they're more like a square shape this time. Ooh, ooh! Sorry, I didn't mean to steal all the power ups. Okay, I lied. I did mean to. Enemy Q. Squadron assignment reward. Nice. He, he made quick work of that one, you can tell. I think he's just flying them as I assign them, basically. The Iron Chef. All right, bring it. Bring it. Bring the Iron Chef out here. Let's see him. Let's see the coward. Let's see what kind of fruits and vegetables he has to throw at us today. Oh, I switched to Absolver Beam again. Whoop. Oh, nice. All right, GG, guys. Worked out pretty good. Stage clear. Oh, crap. Oh, Kirk 2011, he renewed his T-Squad Plus membership for two months. Awesome. Thank you, Kirok. Big shout out to you, man. Pidgey says I did it. Good job, Pidgey. Is that what the es squadron reward was? <laughs> Props to you, man. Oh, uh, uh, Kirok, hold on, man. I'll read your message here in a second. Oh, he kind of kind of caught me in the middle of a... Well, it appears to be a big deal. Nice, we got him. All right. Hey, guys, do have a unique question for you when you have the time. I'll send the question in a super chat because if you figure that out, I would owe you. Oh, it's, it's no problem, man. I'll be happy to help. Help. What you, uh, what you need. What's your question? So, or did you mean you were going to send it later? The replacements. Next update is version 1.08. Yeah, a new boss is coming. Yes, yes, I am aware of that. So I saw the uh, I saw the announcement in the Discord where people were talking about it. That'll be exciting. It's neat to see all the extra content they're continuously adding to CIU. Elite Quartet. Got rid of them. Pedal to the middle. The boss's name is Dr. Beaker. Dr. Beaker. Is he like a mad scientist chicken? What's the new boss? Apparently it's Dr. Beaker, KJ1. 
What it actually does, I have no idea. Nice. Nice. What's everybody? Oh, they're talking about the boss. Oh. I was like, why aren't there so many messages going on in the middle of the wave? Hey, that was a good way to send messages in, though. We said deal with the UFOs. Nice. Version 1.08 coming soon. Is it coming soon, though? Like, how soon we talk to you? Probably over the weekend, actually. Wouldn't surprise me. Isn't that when updates usually come is over the weekend or like right before Monday? Or am I just or am I just talk or am I just talking out of the air? I could be wrong. Um, but in my memory it seems like that's usually when updates come. So Asteroids. No. Really? And we're dead. And I guess we are. Or maybe we're not. Nah, we're good. See, we handled that. No reason to worry. Okay, well. One fellow had some trouble there at the end. But other than that. Other than that, we did fine. Nice job, guys. Alright, six more waves to go. Shapeshift eyes. Beaker is in the lab equipment and also beaker is chicken. Right, yeah, that's why that's why I asked if he was like some mad scientist or something. It's, it's a clever name, I can't lie. Nice. Lag? Oof. Big ol' oof. Yeah, lag, lag stinks. Lag is not great. Nice. What the? Man, you're going all over the place. You're like this little rigidy fellow up here. Like, who are we? Nice. Chicks, whoop. Multi kill, pecking order bonuses. Very nice. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but still nice. Still nice to know we're increasing our score by just that much. Hey, it actually won't be too long before I'm like at tier 99. I hit the max tier. Because it maxes out at, uh... Actually, I don't know what the score that you need to hit tier 99 is. Off the top of my head, I have no idea. Still, I know it's like 20 tiers away, so... It's exciting stuff. Okay. There we go. Take care of that. Ooh, coins. Thank you very much. You know what I do miss? I miss the checkerboard chickens, like as an indication of who has the coins. I do miss that. I wouldn't mind them adding that back in the universe. That would be cool. Enterprise encounter. working out well. Oh boy, no. There you go, 80%. Nice. GG, guys. Beautiful work. Alrighty, one more mission down. I think we got two more left for this planet. Cast Gaming. One, the one, in, one and the same, man. Oh boy. All right, so we'll sign that to Yeez and Cheese, in case KJ1 wants to do that. <laughs> Amazing. Yep, Pidgey just finished Cosby Moonwit. Very nice. All right, so we got two more. We got Slow Shell Shellac, and we got Immaterial Geometrics. All right, neither one of these should be too particularly long. Oh, I got a new contact request. Whap, 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 whap. Gotta go accept that, don't I? Let's take a look at it. VN NTD Games. 
Eh, why not? Oh, crap! Oh, dang! A $20 super chat from Kirok! Hey, thank you, Kirok! Question my new PC doesn't have a DVD drive, I have my old one. I would love to play my old PC games such as Star Trek Gold Edition and the Law and Order games. Is there a way I can get these old games to play? Yes. Yes, there is. Um, here's what you can do, dude. So, your new PC doesn't have a DVD drive. I'm going to assume that it also doesn't have a, a place to install the DVD drive, even if you don't have, even if you still have your old one, right? For example, my tower has a slot that you can stick a DVD drive in, but not all towers have that. Or maybe you might have a laptop. Um, but here's what you can do. Okay, you can go here onto eBay. Uh, would eBay be the best spot? I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay, well, either way is fine. It doesn't have to be eBay. It could be Amazon. It could be anywhere. But basically what you want is you want a DVD... Um, you want a DVD to USB type thing. They're, like, super cheap. I think you can get them on Walmart, too. Um, well, let's go to the shopping tab of Google. There you go. It's something basically like this. It's basically an external little DVD player that connects to your computer via USB, such as this. Here's one from Dell. Now, obviously, you don't have to spend $37 on one. You could probably find one for like 10 to 20 bucks um, on eBay or, like I said, Amazon. But yeah, just look up like DVD player USB and attach it to your computer, install the drive. Well, it'll install the drivers itself. Um, and you should be all good to go. That's how most people use, that's what most people who still have old DVDs they want to run, but don't have a DVD player use, is, uh, one of those. So you can definitely still get them working and get it ready to play, dude. So yeah, hopefully that helps. Alright, JRZ says try looking in game archives. Um, I mean, if you, well, no, I mean, he can still download a digital version of his old games if he wants to. But I think the point was really just more he wanted to play it off the disc. Oh, another $5 from Kirok. Thank you again, sir. And, and since, since these games used Adobe Flasher, how would I get around this? Since the games used Adobe Flash. Okay, so I actually... All right, let me help you out again, dude. So I actually... You're in luck. I actually made a little tutorial video for how to do this, and I'll link it in the chat real quick. Um, videos, we're gonna sort by most popular, cause I'm just that popular. You know, I really um, like tea. I really like tea. <laughs> Thunderstruck! Yeah, okay. So, that's, that's my tutorial on how to play Adobe Flash Player games. Now, this is mostly, this p basic video right here is mostly targeted at, like, browser games, right? Um, that you're like wanting to play, the ones that would require like Adobe Flash, but would say the browser no longer supports Flash or whatever. That was more a guide towards that. What you're talking about is like disc games that would require like a local install of Adobe Flash. But that's that's arguably easier. All you really need to do is just download and install Adobe Flash Player to your computer. You can do it from this link um, that I put down. So yeah, you just click that, download and install Flash. If the game depends on Flash being installed on your system, it should just work from there straight away. And if it doesn't, then you can install Flash and you can just open Flash and just open the game through Flash that way. Um, and then also there's Flash Point. That's the archive project for Flash games, naturally. So yeah, you got several different options. And if you need any more help, uh, feel free to reach out to me on Discord. I'll be happy to walk you through it. All right. So, now with that done, let's go ahead and start on Slow Shellac. Base says, dang, 20. I know, right? Yeah, big thank you again to Kirok for the, uh, for the super chats. Oh, I saw you just like your own video, lol. Yeah, I mean, it'd be kind of silly if I made a video and, and then thought to myself, you know what, I really don't like this video. Well, then why did you make it? So, anyway. It's like people are like, why do you like your own comment? Because why would I post a comment if I didn't like it? That doesn't make any sense. What specs do you have, Cass? Kind of curious because I want to upgrade. Oh yeah, no problem, man. Let's see. I have a, let's see, a Ryzen 5 5600X processor. I have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. I think it's clocked at like 4,000 megahertz. Or maybe it's 3600, I'm not exactly sure, I'd have to look it up. 
Uh, for the motherboard, I have a fifth, a five. Oh goodness, what's the chip side? I don't remember. Oh wait a minute, yes I do. It's an MSI. It's an MSI Gaming Plus motherboard, an X570 chipset. Uh, to go along with the 5600X processor I have. And then, graphics card, I have a 3070. And then, for storage, I have a one terabyte solid state drive, NVMe. So yeah, those are my specs, buddy. Oh, Kirok with another $5 super chat. Dang, son. Thank you, Kirok. He says, last question, would this work on an old PC for Windows 7, which already... Would this work on an old PC for Windows 7, which already has a DVD slash PC drive? Um, if, if your question is, would downloading Adobe Flash from the link work on Windows 7, as opposed to doing it on Windows 10, yes. Yes, that'll work just fine. Which already DVD for percent drive? Yeah, that'll work just fine. Now, keep this in mind. I haven't used Windows 7 in several years. Um, other than, well, at least used it in any great capacity other than just being at somebody's house. They happen to have Windows 7. Something, a quick little use case like that, obviously. So I don't, and again, I don't know um, everything about it, but Adobe Flash will still work on it. And if you're trying to play an old game, there's no reason it wouldn't run just as well on Windows 7, if not better, than it would on Windows 10. So yeah, should work just fine. And again, if you have any other issues with it, you're more than welcome to reach out to me. Alright, Military Parade. Nice. Grab some, uh... Well, tried to, but no. Laser's fine. Now, as for Chicken Invaders Universe, I think it also works on Windows 7. I Now, here's a funny thing. IA actually asked on the forum if it worked on Windows XP. And so I actually downloaded and installed and got running Windows XP, the 32-bit version. Not on my computer. The hardware's too new to work for it. I use my brother's computer for that because his hardware's a little bit older. So it was still Windows XP. So I installed Windows XP on there, tried installing Chicken Invaders Universe, and I can say, um, with a fair amount of certainty, it does not work. You cannot play Chicken Invaders Universe on Windows XP. At least not on the 32-bit version. 64-bit version I didn't test, so that may or may not be possible, although I doubt it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. We got it. Nice. Excalibur says, finally back. Welcome back, man. It, it. Sting of treasure chests. Nice. Well, Adobe Flash is too old, no longer supported. No, it works fun. You just have to, it's no longer supported too. Uh, you are correct about that, but it still works fine. So you can still use it, they just disabled it for security reasons. But if you wanna play Flash player games in your browser, you can 100% still do it. That video I made still works and it works great. I mean, if I wanna play old Flash games that you can't play anymore, um, and your only choice is through like a browser, like it wasn't archived at Flashpoint or anywhere else. Uh, that's totally your best bet of doing it. And if you're sitting there asking, oh, whoa, whoa, my PC get a virus? Prob probably not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go around worrying about it. Anyway, Kirok says, sweet, the Law & Order games I haven't played in years. Something I want to revisit, and I want to buy Starfleet Gold Edition 2 and 3, which the third one takes place in Pickard's time. Cool. You can play as the Borg. Um, I, I, 
I so want, would love that. I am the Borg. I am the Borg. Resistance is futile. <laughs> All right. Well, good deal, man. Well, hopefully that works for you, and I hope you really enjoy it. All right. So there we go, guys. GG. That was uh, slow shall like. It was a good short little mission. Well, short-ish. It was 18 waves. So now we're doing this one, which is 14. It's even easier. Actually, it's, it's like slightly harder. It's basically the exact same. Only difference is it's shorter. All right, let's do it. Immaterial Geometrics. Oh, wow. You guys joined Wickedy Squid. I love it. Look at all the chicken. Look at all the bloody food. It's amazing. Chicken Aerial Show. Nice. Good job, guys. All right, chicken interweaving. That was short. That was very short-lived. Cast once you reach 10k subs. Oh, I didn't see what he said. It was in the game chat and it disappeared very quickly. Cast once you reach 10k subs, we start hosting missions with 10 players instead of five. No. No, it has nothing to do with subscriber count. The reason I host players the reason I host missions with less players is because when there's too many players, it makes it too chaotic. You can't, uh, you can't see well enough to actually understand what's going on. Nice. Look in all directions. Sounds about right. Whoop, there's a chicken. And there's one too. Hey, and I dodged it. That's what we wanted. Nice. Nice. We got him. Nintendo SNES, Sega, and some Nintendo 64. What about it? What about the SNES and the Nintendo 64? Side note is, is it ironic I am having baked chicken for lunch today? <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's slightly ironic, I suppose. I feel like it'd be more ironic if I was the one having it, but yeah, still, I'll give you some props. It's, that's pretty ironic watching a chicken invader stream. Hey, this, I, sw I swear, guys, if I play this game without having any breakfast first, which I almost always do, seeing all, like, the drop food makes me hungry as crap. It's not even funny. All right, nice. <laughs> Well, let's go up here. There we go. I'm just gonna chill over this way. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have chicken for dinner today too. Really, KJ1? That is funny. This game makes me wanna eat pizza. Oh, you know what? I actually have some leftover pizza from last night. That'll probably be what I have for lunch. Eh. It's actually funny. Funny thing to think about. But yeah, technically, gonna have some pizza. Oh, crap. Chill over here for a second. Nice, nice, nice. All right, good job. Concentric triangles. Can I have some pizza leftovers, Cass? Sure, man. Just pop on over here. I'll share. Pop on over here to Tennessee. Share some pizza like steak. If you like Pizza Hut, that's what we got. 
Binary stream. Sharing is caring. Wow. Wow. Dude, I spent like years in school, okay? Don't throw like, don't throw more cringy school teacher quotes at me after I've already gotten past that terrible time period of my life. Oh, that's a bit of an exaggeration. It wasn't caring. I mean, not any worse than it is for anybody else. It's just school just kind of sucks, quite frankly. Anyway, I'm not cringe, Wool. Sharing is caring is like the cringiest thing imaginable. Sharing is caring. Alright, when Timothy doesn't have enough peanut butter and jelly, we share ours with him. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, eh, what a barf. Anyway. Let's go over here. Oh, this is the last one. This is coming from the guy that made two of your mom jokes last time. Okay, okay. To, to be fair, yeah, that is pretty. It's like, it's like, Cass, you really can't be calling nobody else cringe when you're out there making mob jokes. Ah, uh, GG. Kirok says, not my fault I'm having leftovers from yesterday. I'm too lazy to cook today. I, I get it, man. We got Pizza Hut here, too. Love their stuffed crust pizza. Yep. I always wonder why other pizza places don't do that. I don't know. I've never been to a Pizza Hut before. I don't actually think we, we have Pizza Hut over here. Oh, really, base? Dang, man. Yeah, the, uh... Yeah, pizza... There's a lot of restaurants people mention. And I'll be like, yeah, those aren't over here where I live at all. Like, even even in America, right? A ton of, like, West Coast restaurants are nowhere near Tennessee. So, and like, we never will be. Unless they just get bigger. Alright, so we're at tier 80. We've got less than 20 tiers to go, and we'll be maxed out. Your next tier goal lies at 3,241,000 points. That won't take any time at all. <laughs> okay. Wait, did I say three million? Oh, I'm a silly little fellow. Three billion two hundred and forty-one million. My bad. Might take a little time. <laughs> okay, so this planet is now completely, completely conquered. And we have, let's see, how much more we got? We got this planet, we got the sun, and of course we have uh, this planet over here in this little moon. Now, my goal was to complete the entire star system today, but we probably won't have enough time for that. So, I'm actually going to move over here to dares, and we're going to do a few dares. Um, and then we'll do some more missions later. So, GB William, that's going to be <laughs> that's going to be my first dare we do, and that I need to get more than 3 and a half million in order to beat him. So, good luck to me, I guess. You have a Pizza Hut station. What's a Pizza Hut station? Is that like a small little Pizza Hut? Also, Supernova mission win when we get to one. <laughs> Probably when we get to the sun. That's usually when the next Supernova missions are. Cash, you are down south. I bet you guys have amazing southern food places. You are 100% correct, my friend. We do have amazing southern food places. Usually, they're not chains either. They're most often like locally owned mom and pop type restaurants, and they're great. About every town has uh, like one, at least one of those locally owned southern food places around here. So it's, it's pretty great. And then there's Cracker Barrel, which isn't, which while originating from the south, from Tennessee, it's not just unique to Tennessee anymore. That's spread all over the country. They even have Cracker Barrels as far west as Idaho. At least a couple of them. Um, but yeah, funny enough that one of my neighbors who lived across the street, she and her husband were actually friends like with the founders of Cracker Barrel. And they actually offered to let them invest and like get in on it when it was first starting off for $10,000. But they didn't because they didn't have the money at the time. So... Um, and so I mean, she was telling me that and I was like, oh, I bet you regret that later. And she's like, nah, nah, I'm, I'm old now. I just, I just, just don't care anymore. I mean, she didn't say that exactly. I'm, she said it much nicer than that. I'm paraphrasing, but that was essentially the bulk of what she was saying. Was, nah, I'm old. What the does it make at this point? So, she's a cool woman. Very cool person. Anyway. Go up here, nice. 
Kyrex says, I envy you. Oh yeah, the South's a great place to live, dude. The South is awesome. So a lot of good stuff to love about living down here. It's not just the food. It's the weather, the culture, a lot of good things. Nice. All right. Uh, anyway, the thought alone makes me want to visit with food extremely gluttonous. <laughs> That's cool, dude. Well, yeah, you should totally visit the South. It's a, it's a good place to be. I'm just saying, for what it's worth, it's pretty cool. Oh, no. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> Let's see how I do. You got one more boss. Will this be enough to make me clear three and a half million? I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it. Can't lie. I might have died too many times. I don't know how much that actually plays into league bears, but still. All right, grab this last present. All right, how'd we do, boys? Mom and Pop Diners are the best ever. Oh, yeah. We have a Cracker Barrel. It's okay. Oh, okay. So... Also, the accent. Yeah, they do have southern accents. I have a little bit of one, I guess. It's just, oh no! Oh no! I'm like 250,000 below him. I lost so many league points, didn't I? Ah! Oh, that aggravates the hell out of me. Oh my gosh, now I'm back up to 92. Oof. Big ol' oof. I never understand how I lose by like that big of a chunk. It's shocking. All right, well, Ducky VN, we got a, this is a boss rush, dare. We got to beat 4.1.46 million in order to beat him. So let's, let's give it a shot. All right, here we go, boys. Can we get an oof in the chat for all the lost dare points we have? Ouch, well, GG. I know, right, man? Uh, it's funny. It's always you, too, for some reason. I always, like, lose big chunks to you. Must know some tricks of the trade, I'm guessing. Uh, last time it was like, what, 10? No deaths? That must be it. I just need to quit dying. I guess I never realized this, but I'm, I'm suspecting it now, even though nobody's ever really confirmed it. Deaths must play a major role in League Dare. A major role. I'm an idiot. A major role in League Dares, because that really sets you back in terms of points. So my main goal now is not dying whenever I do these. Because that apparently is what's making all the difference. Because that's the only wink I have, is that I, you always beat me by like these ridiculously large numbers, and the only difference is you don't die and I do. So what does that tell me? It tells me I need to quit dying. Nice. Okay, giant robotic space crab, here we go. Also that it really does. Yeah, I, it must. It has to. So, all right. So no deaths from then on. From then on out, then I need to be more, at least more conscientious of that. Not use satellites. Not die. You get a medal for not dying. It's worth fifty-five thousand points. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know you got a no deaths medal. I mean, you got one for no satellites. See, that, that explains it. That makes the world of difference there. See, if I had known that. I'm guessing, so... I guess the same thing would apply for Galactic Cup then, wouldn't it? Hmm. Maybe. I don't actually know. Galactic Cup might be different. But then again, maybe it's not. Squadron assignment reward, nice. You guys are right on it. Saint Sedad partially flew space race, cool. All right, so what was the one on this one again? Wasn't it like four million or something? Something like that. What's up high up there? Hey, this is working out great. We're already like 80% on this one. Amazing. All right, grab that. Thank you. 
Magnetic Manipulator. Oh yeah, this one. I'm familiar with this boss. This guy with the rocks and all his nonsense. Whoop. Oh yeah, all this. I, I remember this. Yep. Nope. That would have been a time where you would have died if you weren't being more careful. All right, nice. Hopefully that's good enough. Um, I definitely should have brought that up. No, that's cool, man. I just didn't know. The Apple Core is like the Death Star, sorta. For dailies, yeah, you should see the mission results screen and check which medals to prioritize. Okay, oh yeah. Look at that, 50,000, 20,000, 20,000. Okay, so these all, these all actually make a significant amount of difference then. Forming 40 or more enemies. 90% kill ratio. Not collecting power-ups. Uh, without any mountable equipment or satellites. So I didn't get this. So, should I just not have satellites mounted going into this? What else counts as mountable equipment, for example? Do hard points count as mountable equipment? Out of curiosity. Squawk feels like one of the worst missions for dares. Yeah, I'd agree. I'd, it'll take some time optimizing, clearly. Also, don't overheat. That also has a metal. Oh, okay. Award for not overheating, you're right. So, I'm betting Kess doesn't watch Star Trek. I don't, I do not. Even HUDs count. Even HUDs count, really? Uh, these don't matter, obviously. We can power ups in a single stage. And they're all mostly single stages, so that's not even going to apply. Or for, for, for performing. 10,000. Not collecting any power ups. So it's mostly this. I need to concentrate on that. Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. So, how do we actually do on that particular one? Okay. Slight, slight improvement over his, so we got like three quarters of a dare point back. <laughs> Slowly climbing my way up back to number 73. To be honest, extreme unpreparedness isn't worth it. It's too risky. Um, Extreme unpreparedness isn't worth it, it's too risky. So like not having the satellites and stuff? I am wagging my finger at you for not watching Trek. Shame, shame, wall. <laughs> I, I don't know, man, I just can't ever really get into that to the sci-fi space TV show stuff, which is never really my thing. I'll give it a try at some point, but meh. I don't, have, I don't really have high expectations. All right, we'll go now and do VN NT game, NTD games. Um, I think I actually will try the unpreparedness thing, even if it is a little risky. So we're gonna, we're gonna undo all of these. Oh, wait, wouldn't that mean I couldn't use a booster, too? Just bringing nothing, not even extra lives? Oh, you can't... Oh! I see, you can't bring extra lives or anything. Oh, yeah, it'd be like Mission Config. You can't bring any of this extra equipment. I see what you mean. That probably is too risky, because you could just die once and fail it all. Unless you were just really good at not dying. Which I'm not. And even then, sometimes it would still screw you up. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm just not even going to worry about that one, I guess. Cardinality of four. At least not for now. I don't think I can advance tactic off to spend some time mastering. Clearly. <laughs> Thank you guys, though, for explaining to me how that worked, because I was... I was a little unaware of how the point system with the medals worked and how you could check it from that end screen. So that's all good information to know. Danger zone. Okay. <laughs> Kick it like Beckon? Yeah, it sounds about right. Nice.
Eh, crap. Okay, well. <laughs> yeah, that was the time when you'd really want to have the satellites there. Even though I didn't really want to use them. But what can you do? It's either that or die. And I'd rather... Dang freaking Nabbit. Well, there's no, there's the no death medal. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that anymore, do I? Dang Nabbit. That would have been a good time to have used the satellites was on that. Oh well. Hey, practice makes perfect, as they say. Nice. Nice. Just chill back here. Or not. There you go. It's really, um, wait a minute. Wait. Time out. I wanted to read the chat. Uh, I guess you actually like Star Wars, then maybe the JJ Star Trek missions will be a good watch. Now, see, that's the thing, though. I don't like Star Wars. All right? I watch Star Wars because I like to make fun of it and, and point out everything that's wrong with it. I don't, I don't actually really like it. So. Yeah. I've just, I've just never really been in, into, into any of that. At least not from a television perspective, you know. It's not that I don't appreciate the story, because I do. Or even video games, right? Love Star Wars video games, those are awesome. But, television shows, movies, eh. I'm just not that big of a TV person in general. I don't like most stuff. So. This is, this is somewhat awkward because, okay, I did not choose the right weapon for the job for this wave at all. Okay, well that was stupid. Ah, it's gonna be a freaking annoying dare, isn't it? I'm not exactly uh, super confident about this one, given how many enemies I lost in this on this particular wave. Yeah, bullets suck for this one. You want something with a way better spread, something like the forks. You don't want a power level of freaking four either. Well, I tried. Kirok with the $2 super chat. Nice. He says, Cash, you can't diss Empire Strikes Back. That's the law. Yeah, you are right about that. That's like the that's like one of the most beloved Star Wars movies ever. <laughs> Thank you for the $2, dude. I appreciate that. Cash, you can't diss Empire Strikes Back. That is law. Hey, I'll say one thing for the original Star Wars trilogy. It's... It's aged fairly well, I guess you might say. It's not its not as revolutionary or life-changing, I feel like, as people make it out to be. It's just really not. It's okay. I actually thought Indiana Jones aged a lot better um, than the original Star Wars did. But I feel like I'm mostly in the minority on that opinion. Okay, well... I didn't know how much further I could I could make that work. Oh, are you serious? I am such an idiot. Ah, uh, this is. Uh, ah! Me me trying to make the best of a bad situation. It goes like that. This is this this reminds me of how much I actually secretly hate chicken invaders. It's 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 times like this when I just when I'm just constantly caught in a loop of stupid crap. See, like, see, this is impossible. I literally, I literally cannot win this. I can't. I don't have any rockets. I don't have, I don't have enough firepower to kill these things before they inevitably just chase me around. Okay, well, this, this weapon's better anyway. Before they just chase me around this and I can't get away from them. My gosh. Today's just not my day for dares, I guess. What can you do? Plasma works great here. 
Oh, I, I, I don't doubt it for a second. I imagine it'd be amazing. Popcorn and bullets sure are absolute hell. Oh, guess being mad is so cute. Glad, glad you enjoy it, Sam. Yep, this is this is stupid. So this is this is endlessly stupid. I am going to lose this, and I'm going to lose most of my dare points. Yep, yep, yep. Here, let's just let's just get it over with. Let's just freaking get it over with. Uh huh. Screw this dare. Screw this stupid mission. Screw this entire game. It's it's stupid, and I hate it. So screw everyone who plays it. It's all it's all garbage. Everybody who plays this game is a garbage human being. And so's the so's IA. They're garbage too. So hate them. Hate you guys. Hate everything. Lost two dare points. Who gives an absolute crap? Ugh. Okay, well that was dares. Um, I'm gonna be a sore loser about it, because that's just me. So yeah, let's go back to doing some missions. Only a master master of evil Darth. Perceive this gonna be a big ol' oof. It was. It was a big ol' oof. All right, so let's go ahead and do some uh, some more missions. We're gonna do uh, these five for this artificial moon here. Or no, no, this isn't an artificial moon. This is a barren rock. Star Wars on the brain, obviously. So we will go ahead and do these next five missions. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to get the star system totally cleared this stream. But that is no problem. We'll do that next time. Uh, for this one. We're, uh, we're just, yeah, for this episode, we're gonna do these next five, and then we'll end the stream there. Uh, if it's stupid and you know, punch your screen. Oh, that's even stupider, destroying your own equipment because you're losing. That's like the dumbest idea. Alright, oh, I forgot, I gotta buy, I gotta buy some lives because that piece of garbage mission consumed them all. Okay. There we go. All right. Missions, velvety conclusion. Joker plays, welcome to the stream. He says three billion points, wow. I know, right? I've put about 90 plus hours into the game and we've we've earned, a, we've earned quite a few points. <laughs> welcome to the stream, dude. All right, let's continue. Velvety conclusion, military parade. Yeah, boy. At least we got the Absolver Beam now. Oh, it didn't destroy the eggs. Lame. Now oh, we tried. Nice. Conveyor belt. Too close to the front, got too greedy there. I'm trying to grab food and power ups as they fall. Dang freaking nabbit. Oh, I got forks now, too. Forgot about that. Used to white. Nice. Alright, that was a good that was a wave that went well. We got 27 waves on this one, too. That's quite a bit. Quite a few waves. Nice. stuff. Technological advances. Whoop. 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 Nice. 
nice. Alright, that went pretty well. Asteroids next. What direction are they coming from? Eh, just most we straight up top, I guess. No, this is a better one for this. Yeah, Kirok, you would probably love some of the Chicken Invaders lore. A lot of it actually ties in very similarly to Star Wars. It takes a lot of inspiration, if you know what I mean. Star mode on. What does that mean, Mario? What does star mode mean? Apparently me means I'm gonna shoot a ton of uh It probably apparently it means I'm gonna shoot a ton of avian flu. And Thunder Pluck, that's what it means. Nice. We certainly have plenty of food. But hey, getting a little bit more doesn't hurt either. Merry go round. Oh, this one again, where they all come at at you from various directions. Then you go forward. You gotta deal with the stupid crap chickens and all that nonsense. Okay, that was easy enough. Oh, I got the got the absolver beam. I didn't even mean to grab it. I just did. What? Ooh, why is my rifle? There you go. Handle that pretty well. There you go. Nice. Oh, and then they're on this side now. Whoop. Oh, there's the absolver beam once more. Um, everybody mostly has them cleared out before I need have the chance to use it, though. Kind shoelaces. Uh, hey, good for balloon guys. I'll say that. That's where it shines. Spaceships, and yeah, not so much. But the wind guys, sure. We're just gonna sit here and farm them? Okay. Oh boy! Okay, that was not the way to do that. Clearly. Gosh. Eh. And just sit there and farm them on the way in. <laughs> Why not? Nice. Maybe short work of them. Just grab those forks, thank you. Oh no, never mind. I got a laser instead. Thought I had forks. Nope. Just a laser. Well, still better than the Absolver Beam, at least for this. Four on Railgun again. Back to the originals. Back to the basics. Oh, uh, those chickens again. The ones that get angry and then slaughter you. Especially if you're all by yourself and you have two power level. They're, they're not great. They're not great in situations like that, that's for sure. Chicken acrobatics. All right. Nice. Oh, crap. Trying to go for the present, forgot which way they were coming. Zigzag. Whoop. Oh, overheat again. Stink. Nice. There's another absolver beam right there. Look out. <laughs> Planetary Egg City.
This does about, at a fully charged, I'd say this does about 5% damage on a boss, more or less. Nice, good job guys. Alrighty, we got eight more waves. Plasma X, welcome to stream. He says, hi Cass, as you can see, I'm very late, I was out, and that's all. Oh, no problem, man, it was good to see you here. You're tuned in more towards the tail end of the stream, but we got four more missions we're gonna do after this. So, it'll still be running for a little bit. So you certainly didn't miss all of them. But yeah, it's good to see you, dude. Hope you're having a good weekend. I got I got pwned in some uh, league dares earlier today, so that was uh, that was fun. Who doesn't love getting pwned in league dares? Hey, the good news is I learned. I learned a few things about what to do and what not to do. So even though I yeah you know I got destroyed today, will that work out so much better in the long run? That's the real key take. Back to basics. That's well, pretty basic, all right. Now the gas chickens, that doesn't really strike me as basic, but sure. Let me know. Nice. Had to put some effort for that last one. Treasure shower, okay. Oh, just shooting popcorn, are you? Get you that power up, man. Reset it. Oh, no! Stupid. Chicken. Oh my gosh. Nothing but sending crap everywhere. Oh, that chicken's gotta eat too, I guess, right? Nice. Beautiful. Guess does not have max power. Um, I most certainly do. I'm at 10 plus 20. I have max power as much as you can get out of a cuisiner, perhaps. On the radar. All right, we did it. Hope that old man got the tractor beam down or this is gonna be a real short trip. What? Oh, you're talking to Xerox, okay, that makes more sense. I, I, I read tractor beam and I was thinking absolver beam and I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Ooh, right over here to the right, come on. Eh. All right, good job guys, GG. That was a rough little one, but we did it. Ah, uh, that's crazy. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and assign that to Yeez and Cheese. Let's see what else we got. We got this one right here, Helpful Guitar. This is gonna be a boss, Helpful Guitar. This is gonna be a boss rush. It's seven waves. Uh, difficulty 49 to 56%. So yeah, let's do it.
Also, I know this is a random thing to say, but I just feel like you all should know, I really have to go to the bathroom. But you know what? I will hold it because we're in space. This is the UHF. We were trained in the art of holding it and having to go to the bathroom. Instead of going, we just simply do the, uh, you know, the bathroom dance. That's, that's how we hold it. <laughs> okay, no, nah, I'm teasing. All right, not really. Let's go ahead and grab that. Okay, hey, shoot the laser over that way, dummy. There we go. All right, we're like 60% here. That's 70%. Nice. Giant robotic space crab version 2. Oh, I see that. Whoop. I'm gonna just chill and hang out back here for a moment. Oh crap. I'm trying to dodge around that guy and it just didn't it just didn't work out very well. Attack of the giant crab. All right. Send him my way, son. Yeah, hold up. Nice. All right. Good job. Cass, I for one did not need to know this info. I'm sure you did not, dude. So, but it's true. I had to I had to go pretty bad. Tell you what, you hold it to you complete all your games that are wait that you are wanting to play for YouTube. You mean you want me to hold go, to wait to go to the bathroom until I finish all the series on my games list? Is that what you're saying, man? That's gonna that's gonna greatly shorten my lifespan. Eh. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I would hope so. It's like, yeah, Cass, no, no, no sweat. Just, just play, just play through 6,000 games, and then you can go to the bathroom. Oh, no, wait, don't, don't just play through them, Cass. Complete them. Yeah. So if that wasn't already hard enough on itself, now, extra challenge. Put some stakes on the line. You can't go to the bathroom until you're done. Oh wait, I know how to get around that. I just won't eat or drink anything. There you go. Problem solved. Guess did you dare me today? I did not. I didn't send out any dares today. I just did it coming once. GG guys. Frog o Frog Ops. Welcome to the stream. He says, yo, what's good, Frog Ops? Welcome to the stream, brother. We're doing some Chicken Invaders Universe. Just completed the mission. GG. Oh, I didn't get to type it in in time. Sad. Oh well. That worked out well. Uh so yeah, 51 keys. Out of lives again. Oh, thank goodness I got the keys to buy more lives with, huh? I still have one key left over. All right, so we got three more missions to go, guys. We got immediate Ganachi, and that's gonna be 12 waves. And the difficulty is like 83 to 95%, so a little bit more up there. Yeah, good luck with no food or nice cold beverages. Right, no tea with them little ice cubes in it. Yeah, right, exactly. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, let's go around. 
from this way. Nice. Squadron assignment reward. Good job, guys. Treasure shower. Whoop. Look out, dude. <laughs> to be fair, someone probably should have gotten that before it went down that far. But still. Not the little ice cube, right? Uh, good times. Nice. Oh, that's okay. I got the lightning to handle that. I have no fear. There we go. Alright, easy enough, guys. between all the crap. Oh no! I avoided the crap, I just forgot about the gas cloud. Okay, somebody used some rockets. And I died again, by the way. In case anyone was curious. Oh, this nonsense. Okay, yeah, somebody's definitely using rockets on this one. And I can't quite honestly say that I blame you. Yeah, that was, that was rough. I'm at power level five, which sucks. There's some cherry, thank you. Oh, the Yolk Star, oh boy. All right, already at 15% too. Let's make it even 20, what do you say? Is it 25% when they start sending more chickens after you? Yep, that's win. That's win, all right. Dang freaking nabbit. How, where was I supposed to go? The lasers were blocking me in. Guess I should have taken my chance out while I had it, huh? There we go, just go in behind him there. Crap. Definitely one of the hardest, harder bosses in, uh, in this bloody game. Grab our satellites back, there we go. I want to hang out near the edge. That's where all the chickens come in. Let's percentage just get higher. Oh, wow, everyone's dying now. Nice. Dang, freaking nab it. It's like no escape from this nonsense. Yep, nope, still died. Power level two. A whole bloody two. Come on, come at me, whoop. Hey, down over here now, down over here. Yo, dude, what is the assignment reward, says KJ1? What is the assignment reward? You mean where it says squadron assignment reward, like where it pops up with that little notification? I think it's like two or three keys, usually. I'll have to go with notifications and check, but it's usually just like two or three keys. Good job, guys. BG? What do you mean, BG? All right, let's be honest. Yolk Star itself isn't hard. It's not the Yolk Star, it's all the chickens they throw at you while you're trying to fight the Yolk Star. That's what it is. And okay, this is one where the Absolver Beam comes in handy, I will not lie. In the thumbnail, you look like you cried. Yep, peep, yeah, I don't, I don't see it, man. Somebody said that about the Doom stream yesterday, that I look like I cried in the thumbnail. I'm like, I, I really don't see it, no. That's not what crying really looks like. If you 
you say so. Yes, I, I cried at at the thought of having to play Chicken of Haters Universe again. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Oh, man. I, I cried because of all the dare, dares I lost. There you go. Oh, crap, that's kind of awkward because now there's like all this metal stuff and there's like balloon chickens back there frozen in place. Nice. All right, that worked out. Sorta. All right, two more waves to go. Make that three. What the hell? That's on me. I shouldn't have been hanging out there in the middle of the screen like that. Aha, I missed it. Bloody chick spaceship almost got me with those lasers, but we're good. Power level eight. Let's get the satellite box while we have a chance. These metal things will ever separate long enough. Come on, ah. There we go. Nice, now we all got satellites. Good job, guys. Grab you some satellites, quickly. From cover to cover. Oh, this, yeah. I always try to work hard to destroy all the metal on these, usually. Of course, usually they come up in, in like competitions where points matter. In multiplayer missions, they really don't matter. Okay. Nice. All right, we got him. And we got all the metal, too, except for the one in the corner that I missed. Nice. All right, not quite, but almost two million points. Thundercluck, the final boss. The best boss, in my opinion. Oh, ain't you in bathroom dance? Sure, why not? All right, here we go. Here we go, boys. Let's get it. Let's get it. Whoa! Look out! Look out for the guitar laser. It's a gnarly one. Thirty percent. We got this. Yep, 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 yep. All right, I'm just gonna go around. There you go. Whoop, rocket. Nice. There you go. Legend has it that guitar is still flying through space. Because Thundercluck wasn't on the other side to catch it. Mission complete. GG, everybody. Alrighty. Arielis Raiden, welcome to the stream. Howdy, Cass. How's it going? I was listening to 10 hours of... Karanunos Killer and forgot about the stream, lol. Well, <laughs> nice, man. I don't know who that is, but good on you, I guess. Um, yeah, we're still at it. Still conquering star systems, driving up chickens like you do. Exploration reward, three, yes. So, KJ1, in response to what you were asking earlier, this is the squadron assignment reward. Recruit, successfully complete your assignment, you're awarded two keys. So, that's what that is. It's good, too, because it helps me keep track of, like, who's active and who isn't. Um, all right, mission. So, Quirky Portcullis is going to be our next one. This is 30 waves. And then we've got a 16-wave mission to end us off in the dark. It'll be a darkness-type mission. But first, let's do Quirky Portcullis. Now, if I remember correctly, isn't a Portcullis, like, a, a door of a castle? Like, one of those big... Or not even a not even a door, but like a little metal gate in front of a door. I think that's what a portcullis is. Unless I'm getting the words mixed up. But if I remember anything from middle school history class, it would be that. Chick loop. Nice. Stinking egg machines. Nice. Get some lightning beams while we're at it. The chicken wobble. Well, that's unfortunate. Nice. 
chicken rings. Okay. Yeah, that is what a pork twist is? Oh, goodness. So I did remember correctly then. Awesome. Nice to know, nice to know I still know things. Another history growing up. I actually really liked history growing up. That was probably one of my favorite classes. Or subjects. I guess it's less a class and more a subject, but history was interesting. It has a lot of practical implications too. It's only by knowing your history and how you arrive to where you are now that you know what not to do again in the future and maybe even say it if you have somewhat of an idea of where you want to go. In other words, there's a lot of takeaways from history. As opposed to say, what's a subject that I like to pick on? High school math. Most of that you will never use ever. So, fair we point. No sight of Adrian, weird. Oh, Adrian was here earlier, but he bounced. So he had to go to the bathroom probably. Uh, I have to go to the bathroom. I'm just waiting because you know we got we got we got chickens to slaughter. We got star systems to take control of. Who has time to go to the bathroom? Goodness sakes! All right, nice. Show him who's boss. Here we go. Nice. Wow, that took like no time at all. Good job, guys. All right, and there you go. That is the first third of the mission done in less than two minutes. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Do the backstroke, don't mind if I do. Oh, wow. Oh, crap, another $20 super chat from Kirok. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that stink. Another $20. Thank you again, Kirok. He says, Kess, uh, I will try your options. Kess, I will try your options on my Windows 7. I will, nice, there it is. I was waiting for that. I will try your options on Windows 7. Kess, I will try your ah, options on my Windows 7. I will let you know if that helps us for now. I need to eat and get some sleep working on shop for the last 40 days, roughly averaging 12 hours a day and about to drop dead long. That's a lot of time. But yeah, by all means, Kira, I'll get you some sleep, dude. It was uh, good having you here on the stream. Hope you have a good rest. I'll see you at the top. Good luck on the, on the uh, old game installation. Yes, please do let me know how that... Uh, how that turns out for you. So have you a good food and sleep sesh. Does Kira only speak in super chat? <laughs> Says KJ1. He he does not. KJ1. He's just he's just a very generous fellow, clearly. So so yeah. Good luck, my friend. I need sleep, my brother. No problem, dude. Get you some rest. I don't know how much of uh which effort you put in it works, so you definitely gotta stay well rested for it. It'd be like me, right? If I stream and don't don't get much sleep the night before, it usually don't turn out that well. Learn that the hard way. I've had a few not so great streams as a result of not enough sweat sleep for your boys, so moral of the story, get your rest. There we go. Alrighty then. Braided assault. Let's do it. I'm gonna just chill here in the back though if we're gonna do that. Nice. Free stroke engine. 
Chicken acrobatics. Oh, the ones where they come in from the corners. Okay, I need to remember to not fly towards like presence and power ups. Because I constantly do that on these types of waves. It constantly messes me up. I need to remember not to do that. Also, maybe not kill the balloon chickens right close to the corners. Let them get up a little higher first. May the force be with you, my friends. Oh, well, that's a good send-off for Kirok, dude. Dang, wish I'd thought of that. Man, if that works, I owe you everything. Oh, no, no problem, man. I'm glad to help. It's a trap. Peace, my friend. Good night. The stream just dropped to 1 FPS because my ping was 200. Oof. Big ol' oof. Well, hopefully it got resolved. Hopefully you resolved it. Yep. Nice. All right, there we go. GG. Oh wait, it's not a GG. We're not done yet. We still got a whole nother nine waves left to go. Or ten waves, excuse me. Forgot about that. Four? What do you mean four? It's totally ten waves. Don't tell me it's four. Nice. Attack formations. Watch out for swooping chickens. Oh, this crap. I remember this crap. Berserkers. Oh, this one again. Okay, yeah. This is like the little ninja chicks one from earlier that destroyed me in the dare, but somehow easier, I feel like. Probably because there's less of them. More of us. And they're slower. Sort of. I think. Interdimensional portals. Bring them at me. Poof out a few chickens. You're it. Well, suppose I am, aren't I? Whoop. Whoop. Let's turn around here real quick. Whoop. All right, I think we're good. Gyroscope malfunction. left in my glass. Very little tea left. That's okay. I will soldier on. I will soldier on through the pain. Or we must defeat the chickens. Nice. Alright, roundabout approach. Two more waves to go. Boom. Oh, nice. You just camped him in a corner. Good thinking. I got the Positron stream, too. Alright, Iron Chef time, boys. Here we go. No holds barred. Use all my satellites too. So what else can we use them on at this point? Oh, there they go. That was the last of them. All right, and there you go. GG, everybody. <laughs> Died there at the end. Was totally worth it. All right, that was a uh, a long one, a long mission, but we did it. All right, everybody, and we have one final mission left for this episode. I'll sign that T's and cheese real quick. 
and get some more lives, because of course. Hey, we've earned over like 500 keys. This, uh, this stream, even, even when accounting for like upgrades and lives and everything, we still have 500 extra keys, so that's pretty good. All right, so 16 waves for this net for this last mission and uh, we'll call it a stream there I do want to say a big thank you to everyone who helped us fly missions today It was super awesome getting to play with you guys like it always is um, It was fun getting to do the dares too even though I kind of sucked and uh, Yeah, also, I know he just left but big shout out and thank you to Kirok again He has like contributed the equivalent of like $50 worth of super chats throughout the duration of this live stream. So I appreciate him too. He's like he's like the he's like the new mini alien force. <laughs> but no, big thank you to Kira. Who clearly works very hard for his money too. Alright, let's go. Ew. There we go, we got it. Well, or not. There you go. All right, GG. Hey guys, did you know that Golden Tea, it's the tea's name, can brew infinite cups? Really? Hold on a second, man. I gotta deal with these wizards and the spaceships, and I wanna hear more about the infinite cup tea. Oh, dang, Nabbit. I didn't see that other one, it was a little late. These guys are trying to force me off the, off the end there. Infinite cups of tea no matter what. Other brands like Whip can fail to do so. That's crazy. I have no idea. I never even heard of golden tea. You'd think eventually the tea leaves would run out of their, uh, run out of potency though, wouldn't you? Berserkers, don't make the man. Uh, uh. Nice. Oh, well, I tried. By the way, Cash, did you forget to put your trail on? I did. I forgot. Don't worry, though. We'll do that uh, <laughs> before the next stream, before the next episode. Oh, there they are. Just help myself some bullets, thank you. Whoop. That particular wave always just kind of throws me for a loop. A single pack of golden tea can brew an entire bathtub of tea. Is that so? Oh, crap. Oh, I tried. I bloody tried. All right. GG. Charity. Charity. Where this? Oh, there it is. That's a lot of charity. That's probably for the better, though. I really needed that. Oh, boy. Oh, we got it. Nice. Yep. Bye bye. See ya. So that's, there's the sun. Whoop. Rip. Yeah, big old rip. Okay, got a key. Nice. Alright, we're at like a power level of 12 at the moment, or 10 plus 2, whatever you want to call it. 
Ah, uh, this is the part with the lasers. Yeah, I kind of forgot about the lasers. Yeah, Superstar Hero difficulty is rough, but man, does it give you some good keys. Uh, I can send you a, a video on Discord to prove it? Yeah, send me the video, Aubrey Alice. I'd love to see it. You actually killed Recruit with the Feathers Lol. Oh! Oh, dang. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to. Friendly fire, rip. My bad. My bad, bro. Okay. There you go, halfway through. Nice. Yeah. I was trying to target the metal. Use up our accumulator while we're at it. Oh, okay. Or just do that. We have 10 of 16. Oh, Corridor Shooter. Oh, I hate Corridor Shooter. Oh, it sucks. Oh, everybody hates Corridor Shooter, let's be honest. Everybody doesn't like this. What? I think it's... Stink if we can avoid dying. You know, all, all, all good, I guess, but. Generally speaking, this is the one where you die a lot. You miss out on goodies like that key. Alright, well, we got some we got some food. Got through it. No real casualties, so I guess that's something to be thankful for. Man, it's hard to see asteroids in the dark. Whoop, rip. Here I go. Oh man. Pixel emerge victorious from alert arrival. Good job. No. Can I get rid of this thing real quick? Or kill somebody? Nope. Sure couldn't. Got rid of it after it killed somebody. Nice. Get rid of these guys real quick. Thank you. Just help myself that lightning. Nice. Whoops, I, I got turned around. Oh, okay. GG. Sam says, Cass, I know you're a PC gamer and all, but do you have any? Hold on a second, buddy. Roundabout approach. Hold on a second, Sam. I'll get to your, your comment. Oh, crap. All right, we got him. Waving in the breeze. Ah, they're all gonna come here from the side. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes plenty of sense. All kinds of it. All kinds of sense. Uh, Cass, I know you're a PC gamer and all, but do you have any disc games like PS2? or anything like that, because I have a lot of them. Well, buddy, I have plenty of disc games for PC, because like you said, I'm a PC gamer. It's actually a funny story. Um, I played uh, games a lot as a kid on PC, and I bought it as physical media because that was back before digital stuff was really big. So then I quit playing games um, until my later teenage years, and then I started to gradually get back into it again. But I didn't realize that now the big thing was digital. Uh, I was just so used to buying physical media because that's what I always did as a kid. So for the first couple of years of my return to gaming, all I did was just go to thrift stores and buy used PC games. So sometimes they worked, sometimes they didn't. But, like obviously the ones that used activation codes didn't work anymore. But then again, places around here would like sell them at like 
dirt cheap prices like 50 cents a dollar 10 cents at one place per game so it was crazy um yeah i actually have a collection of like a hundred or so different physical games i actually showcased them off in like a 30 minute live stream i did back when i lived in my old apartment so you're welcome to go check that that out i've actually toyed around with the idea of like setting up a uh or not setting up but like doing like a video like a library game tour video just because i thought that'd be kind of cool so let me know if you guys are interested in seeing something like that because we might do that all right csgo friendly fire and ciu has happened <laughs> pretty much pretty much in america your childhood is nothing without those yeah see again i didn't play ps2 or anything like that because my my parents weren't like you know big fans of, of game consoles anyway uh, for us, it's nothing if we don't have TV shows or arcade. Well, I remember seeing my sister pirating Chick Invaders 3 at one point when I was four. Dang. Wow, smart sister. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So that's going to be it. Uh, wow, KJ1 is still at it. <laughs> Round of applause for KJ1. I swear, guys, he and Arnov are no contest my most proficient members of Yeez and Cheese. Like, check it. Look. Simon's completed 132 out of 150. These will all be done. Mark my words. KJ1, 148 out of 150. Those last two will be done for him, too. They're just they're just amazing. They're amazing, amazing squadron members. Don't know what I'd do without them. Anyway, everybody, that's going to be it for this episode of Chicken Invaders Universe, A Rise to the Top series. Thank you all very much for tuning in and being a part of it today. It was super fun. When we come back next time, we'll do the remaining eight missions in order to secure this star system. And then we'll go do these next couple over here, which have 16 uh, missions apiece, as well as this tiny little one. And we'll have gotten this whole little area completely finished. You can see 130 out of 179 missions in total. It's pretty crazy to think about, isn't it? So, see you cats. Have a great day. You too, Sam. Excalibur says, see you later. Cassie Excalibur, it was good having you, buddy. May the forks be with you all. Amen. A stinking man. All right, well, may the forks be with you all. Thank you all again for being here. Till next time, I've been your host, Cass Gaming, and I will see you all at the top.